This uh, one is that how much your website are uh, utilized. So this is that you have to find out the uh, exercise. And this is a two-way system. Two-way switching circuit. You study the two-way switching circuit. And also the operating temperature limit. Upgrading the operating temperature limit. You can review the loading. Then we can talk about the sustainability. Sustainability of the ecosystem. The ability of the ecosystem to continuously support the light and light form within it. This means that we have to be aware of this uh, renewable energy aspect. When in the air there are enormous uh, dangerous gas, it can damage the environment. Therefore, that we have to use appropriate uh, emission control, appropriate uh, rapid removal is also important aspect. This is uh, related to the sustainability. So that in this case, uh, sustainability is bottom up as well as a top down. Bottom up means that from the shop floor level, and uh, all the sustainable practices are uh, reported to the supervisor and the factory manager and to the uh, authority, regulator, and the government step. In the meantime, the top down means that government uh, organization produce the sustainability procedure and practice, and those rules and regulations are the environment rules and regulations given to the uh, factories uh, organization and the every shop rule level worker must follow it. So this is a sustainability work practice in a two way model up as well as a top to down. So the OHS Act is a related to the responsibility and legislation. So the sustainable and the uh, action practice is that we have to re reduce the physical uh, and then resources across to water and energy. And also we have to encourage the recycling, we have to increase the use of the renewable energy sources, and we have to encourage and design a production process and products to eliminate the production of toxins and materials. Those are the important aspects for the sustainability. And then we also have to uh, protect and restore the nature habitats and the environment value for the biodiversity and the beauty. So the, in this case, our sustainability project is very related to the Kyoto Protocol. Kyoto Protocol is a reduction of the oxygen and greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, sulfur, hydrofluoride, those are the uh, uh, greenhouse gases. Those greenhouse gases must be reduced. The economic benefit of a sustainable energy is a uh, to they are the challenge to the globalization and the demographic change because of the because the greenhouse has some of the small island country, they will be uh, damaging so that they, the people will move to the other countries. So it can happen a demographic change. So this is a, the economic benefit is a group, sustainable initiative made. They are the challenge of the globalization and also demographic change. Economic benefit of the sustainable is also support the wider economy social and environmental goals. In the meantime, it can develop their knowledge and their innovation. So they are very related to their sustainability. So, consequence of the greenhouse gas is that they are major part in the shaping the air climate, also internal external to the climate system. Because of the uh, climate change, it happened that uh, air temperature is rising and nature and the human influence that force a change of the climate. So we have to observe the behavior of the climate. We have to do the scientific concern. We have to design the climate model and we have to design the coordination exchange. We have to implement a coordination exchange and also the scientific assessment. They are all related to the sustainability practice. Sustainability practice means we have to monitor the change of the air temperature. We have to uh, find out the nature and human influence that force the change of climate. We have to observe the behavior of the climate. We have to concern about the scientific concern and climate model. We have to coordinate the action and also scientific assessment.
they are very related to their sustainable supply chain. So I do this thing uh, uh, at this, uh, this uh, trade tools uh, lesson, the highest trade lesson. What I give you today is that uh, I explain you about the sustainable prices. In the meantime, I give, I teach you about the uh, warning system. Warning system, lightning warning system. I give you the look at the switch uh, method. And also the, I give you the two-way switching method. And also I give you the uh, fire safety, how to delay de and clear it from the ceiling and from the other equipment. I also give you the uh, configuration of the main supply system. Main supply system is the uh, main switch, consumer, main RCD, and also the non attain link, neutral link, and the connection I give you. So this is for the uh, Higher stage of trade study, I give you the, this lesson. Then uh, I will continue to do this uh, wash up like this. Wash up like this one. So this is the electricity in the Australia electricity are generated by the coal firing power plant. So that you are using the more electricity, it will fire the more coal and the more pollution can happen. Therefore, the energy reduction is also an important aspect. So that by applying the energy efficient building design system and then using the energy efficient equipment, we can reduce the electrical power generated by the coal firing power plants, which are reducing the producing the greenhouse gases. So the renewable energy power plants such as the wind turbine and the solar electric system, they are either to provide the energy security in the meantime reduce the greenhouse gas, they produce by the co firing the power plant. So this is the ways that we are talking about the energy efficiency. So the energy emergency lighting system, then I will talking about the emergency lighting system. Emergency lighting is required in the most of building to protect the human rights. So this is an uh, emergency because of, in the case of the any fires or emergency, the building electrical power will be shut down. In this case, we have to provide emergency lighting. So at least uh, all the stairway, SK roof, they must be provided with the emergency, the emergency the lighting system. So the building code of the Australia BCA, what place are has safety at and the various are industrial requirement. The state that the evacuation system must be installed in all surveillance. So the emergency lighting is provided for the emergency evacuation as well as to avoid the loss of the power and the light in the critical operation. So this is the importance of the emergency system. So the, therefore the emergency lighting systems are we are utilizing the uh, emergency lights. So the we follow the system need to be supplied with the emergency electrical supply. In this case, we have to use the mechanical ventilation, asset and aggress, lead and installation, fire the system. Rollings are requirement for the emergency system. So the building code of the Australia, part E3 is a, uh, explain about the building classification, part E4 is the emergency lighting and ACs are sign requirements are provided. So that they are the uh, appropriate Australian standard for the emergency lighting system. Is it an SSR 2293.1998 addition is a system design installation operation. It is an 27932, so 90 is a, uh, 95 is an inspection and a maintenance. It is an 2293, 1995 emergency luminous and an AC side. So those are the 
uh, Australian standards required for the emergency lighting system. So the kind of the emergency system are uh, they, they are self-related or the centralized system. Self-related is an individual luminous are uh, equivalent with the self-related battery and charger. So they are around this other placebo, same mounting, simply connected to the local lighting, Junsaki, Madi Bear battery for the main power uh, failure and this is they are high cost. And centralized system, all the emergency systems are connected to the emergency power system. The advantage is to reduce the maintenance and less expensive, but the disadvantage are when the uh, fire happens, so those are given need to be uh, have the fire redeemed. They might use, we might use the MISS given, metal, metal uh, insulation, minor as a sheets uh, given. Uh, have to be utilized and also they must uh, have the fire proofing. So this is the installation of the emergency system. So this will be the kind of the emergency system that we are explaining about. In the event of the emergency system fail or uh, are in operational because of the centralized system is the, the, the disadvantage. Therefore the appropriate level the elimination level is required for the emergency system. So here is the uh, evaluations are Evacuation domain, this symbol, as you see on the drawing diagram, this is for the black and white emergency class symbol. So this is for the emergency that are given. So the here is that we are talking about the emergency supply circuit. So there will be the battery supply here. So the unsweet uh, at it, and also the test rate, or the uh, test rate and uh, red light. And also this is battery connection. This is the connection here. Here is an emergency light system. So this is an emergency battery pack and the inverter we utilize. So the principle of operation of emergency system means that uh, this is where they connected to the sublime body here, battery charger, and also connected to the LED indicator, it connected to the battery, and low body cut off sublime uh, failure sensor, nominate emergency sink over switch, and a plus and light. So this is for the uh, complete generation of the emergency system. The final is how we supply the plus and two, Normal sublime here, this sublime which switch to the emergency and chain over and sublime failure sensor, low body cut off battery, battery charger. Normally, these are we are charging the battery. And also, we're going to do the test rate, bolus, and this is plus and light. So, this is the configuration of the emergency supply system. So, the emergency batteries are the nickel and the cadmium and some battery. And DC to AC inverted light, battery voltage, and quite a four bar cell. And the normal condition, supply voltage and the supply voltage charge the battery and supply the electricity to plus and two through the supply failure sensor and the change over switch. So when the main supply is off, so the supply failure sensor set is and operate the normal emergency chain over switch to emergency position. So the battery supply the emergency to plus and two. So this is the way my emergency. Therefore, the Emergency luminous are spacing. We use an emergency lighting requirement. Every fire isolated stairway, every story of the class 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to area more than 300 millimeters square, we had to utilize the emergency lighting. Also, the every passway, passageway, and road with the floor area more than 100 millimeters square, each time a stairway and big on knee, we had to utilize a, a appropriate emergency lighting requirement. So the AC signs are then need to be installed at the door, providing direct emergency front and storage to the angle stairway, a standard stairway, the horizontal AC. So we have to test this emergency lighting. So daily emergency inspection is a way to check the light. Monthly emergency lighting inspection, where to check the light and the battery. And your emergency testing is a two test for three hour emergency die. So those things are have to be inspect. And respective to here, we have to utilize the AS and the F2293.2 1995 edition. So those are the emergency. So then based on the those emergency system, you have to answer the question. Why is the emergency supply system right the reason for the emergency lighting? What are the places that require the emergency supply system? Name the two kinds of the emergency system and then describe the advantages and disadvantages. Sketch the emergency system symbol. Explain the emergency safe sound operation with the sketch. What emergency lighting requirements and where are the places AC system to be fitted? Express the testing method of emergency system and write the name of the AC and set group for the emergency system. Those things are you have to explain. Okay, so this uh, today lessons are we are electrical trade two, the higher electrical trade. We are using 
we talk about the energy efficiency, greenhouse gas, as well as a electrical circuit configuration. So that we're talking about the flash and lighting. So in the zero lighting is a heap electrical currents are produced. So the electrical current go to the resistor and produce a heat. So we use a H equal to I square RT. I is a current, I is a resistor, T is a time, H is a heat. The flash and lighting is a different. High voltage is a applied to the anode and the ignite the electron. Electron flow to the uh, interact with the gas and produce a light. So this is a flash and lighting. Flash and light are the discharge length. They are the uh, type of the incandescent less uh, flash and lights are the mercury beva, sodium beva light. So this is the flash and lighting. So the, this is the flash and lighting are this are electro here. So that when the electro gas so connected, the electrons are we, uh, produced from the electro and they transfer the one electro to another. And uh, here it gets. So they interact with the gas and then produce the light. So the high voltage is applied at the electro that ignite the electrons to flow. The electrons are discharged of the electron it are with the free gas and the emit the light. So type of the color, the light color depending on the, if you use a mercury beva, it can go to the blue and gray. Neon gas, it will do the red, sodium beva, yellow, and the halogen is white. It needs to supply the high voltage and the electrode, they are not to emit the electron. So this is for the electrodes are connection here. And so in this case, are the, this is for the free heat of plasma light, the switch, the bolus and this is for the electrodes of the connection diagram of the flash and light. So flash and light is an open circuit and the gas and the discharge juice can be ionized. The auxiliary equipment start out to commence the start out of the gas to ignite which allow the current to flow. So once the ignition occurs, the resistance of the gas uh, column rapidly decreases and the current flowing in the circuit is limited to prevent the juice from the becoming a short circuit. So here we be there. And other thing is that we say uh, bolus. Bolus is a, the increase uh, electrical potential of the electronic equipment. So they include the magnetic and electric bolus. So this is the magnetic bolus. They depend on the V equal to air DIYDD, chain of the electrical current, it can produce the voltage. So the DIYDD, the chain of the electrical current, and A is the inductance, and this is the voltage. So that when the electrical current change, so it can produce a voltage, the voltage are uh, ignited by electrons. So this is the uh, magnetic uh, bolus. The electronic bolus is electronic bolus connected. So electronic circuit is a produce a, a switching function. Electronic circuit provides a switching function to increase the voltage to ignite the uh, electron at the electrode. So this is electronic bolus and this, uh, the switch connection. So there will be the, it's include the inside uh, electronic bolus include the equalizer, amplifier, also the power conditioner for the IC chip, and also magnetic output transformer, integrated chip voltage, and then uh, pressure current, so time and harmonic distortion, and also those are included in the electronic bonus. So include the amplifier and power conditioner for IC chip and magnetic output transformer integrated chips for the voltage and the thermal uh, harmonic distortion. So they are component of the electronic bolus. So the kind of the starter, starter function is a uh, allow the switch the uh, electron and thermal state. So bimetal switch are the kind of the starter. The starter function is that uh, it can switch of the uh, when the electrical current are passed through the bimetal switch or the starter, it becomes hot and different Difference are uh, elongation of the metal switch uh, cause the metal switch to bend. When the cutting of the supply is cool and the task are for to allow the current to pass through. So such switching action happen frequently cause a high voltage at the electrode of the plus and tube to ignite the electron to flow. This is the function of the uh, starter switch. So this starter switch, they are switching function can increase as a uh, Voltage across the plasma lens. When the voltage of the plasma lens are the high, it can eject the electron. No electron will be thrown out. No so electron will interact with the gas and the light will come in. 
coming out. So this is the ways are a plasma light connection. So they, they are the plasma length for the compact plasma light. So it includes the light, tube, and bolus also. The plasma light can cause a stroboscopic effect because of the sometimes are, because of plasma light, some of the running equipment are look like stationary. So the people such as those equipment, they can be damaged. They can endure. Therefore, they, instead of using the ones are light, you have to use a two light at a different phase. So in this case, they have bonus here, then another light. But here we use the capacitor. By using the capacitor, their phase and the balance of beta waveform will be different. Therefore, they, it can stop the stable slow wave effect. Only the, uh, all the fluorescent lights are running at the same, uh, same uh, timing. So it can cause a stable slow wave effect. So to cancel the stable slow wave effect, their timing must be different. So to differentiate the timing, we pro provide the capacitor. So the two uh, fluorescent lights are operating at the different timing. So by this way, we can reduce the stable slow wave effect. So this is important aspect. How to uh, reduce the stable slow wave effect. So therefore, the uh, connection of the co-cathode uh, lamp, and this is supply connection here, and here is the connection of the fluorescent lamp and the supply. So this is for the, and also the multi band circuit, we are connecting with this uh, different, uh, different uh, bolas for their connection. So this one is, uh, we are talking about the switching function. Uh, here is a connection of the strata bolas in the AC supply. Here is a rapid strata circuit. Rapid strata circuit. Bolas auto transformer rapid strata circuit connection. So the single pose are switch used in the lighting circuit. So main switch must main must switch the active conductor. The maximum active resistance of the light circuit provided by CC and BR type C circuit breaker. Why are we the 1.5 million dollars per at the icon data? It is a point six one oh where do you like the table eight by one? What is the principal operation of the reverse circuit air connection now? This is a stack in the media, allow the key to be found. So that we have to utilize the ASR 3000 appendix C. What is the maximum rating required for the circuit breaker eight kilowatt range in the 220 MBR? How many 10 MBR socket out there could be connected by the 2.5 mm square cable and 60 MBR socket breaker in non domestic installation without permanent air connection? This is the A. And find a such circuit in the domestic installation consists of 5 single and 6 10 MBR double socket out there. How many double 10 MBR socket out there could be added to circuit? When it is supplied with a 2.5 mm square cable and protected by the 20 MBR circuit breaker, this is the one. It depends on 10 MBR socket outlet are connected with a 2.5 mm square cable, protected by a 6 MBR circuit breaker in the office with a permanent air conditioning. How many lighting points can be added to this circuit? Answer is 12. A mid circuit in the home has a 640 watt. Combines a exhaust fan, heater, light connected to it. If the circuit is protected by the CC MBR circuit breaker, how many 10 MBR socket outlet could be connected? Answer that thing. How many, how could the high resistance dry can be detected in over heated transmission line? So we use the infrared ra uh, radiation. And also the twice the color script determine the depth of the penetration of the heat effect of the induction heating. This is output frequency. So then today lesson I talking about the uh, lighting, uh, lighting, lighting uh, I explain about the connection of the incandescent light, fluorescent light, they are operating principle and also the question and answer. Also I talking about the uh, energy uh, efficiency and the green of gas. So this is for the lesson for the trick two. And then we also talking about the lesson for the trick one. So electric wash up like this.
Okay, so I let forget engine that trade by this one for the uh, I let forget trade two student. So we are talking about the uh, PCC2. So we explain about this uh, uh, program. A silicon heating satellite has a rating of 100 watt per meter. How many meters it take are required to provide a 1.5 kilowatt output? In this case, the formula is a number of the uh, length can be calculated, power output divided by the watt per the meter. So there will be the power output required a 1.5 kilowatt, 1.5 into 10 power 3. In this case, 100, 150 watt per meter. So divided by 150, you call it 10 meter. And also to reduce the tenderness in the Agali uh, concrete slab, heating is to be installed. This Agali is a pro ADI 18 meter square and a recommended rate of heating is 60 watt per meter square. What is the rating of the heating load? So in this case, we also have to calculate the heating load. So there will be the uh, power is the area multiplied by watt per meter square. ADI 18 uh, watt per meter says you, you calculate as 4800 watt or 48 kilowatt. Then also the single SEI connected in city with the system own uh, heater element in the supply voltage to the level and the firing angle is a SEI 90 degree. Why is the power developed by the heating element and the heat energy deliver after 15 minutes of the operation? So this means that uh, we have to calculate the power. Power is a I square multiplying R or the V square divided by R. I is a current, I is resistant, V is a body, I is resistant. So the power is equal to body squared by R. Body is, you can know about the 230 volt. The system is the 16 ohm, the 230 squared by 16, you got a 20651. watt. And then also we calculate the energy. Energy, the power multiply ties. The power we calculate the 200, 20651. watt. And also then we have to operate for the 15 minutes. So the 15 minutes is 15 multiplied by 15. So the minute converted to the second multiplied by 60, then we calculate is a 186000 joules or the 186 kilojoules. So this is the way we calculate for the energy and power. And then another program is a 820 kilogram, one, two, Zero zero kilogram concrete slab is to be heated to the 230 degrees straight from the uh, storage of heating divider. It has specific heat capacity of concrete is a 920 uh, joules per kilogram uh, degree centigrade. How many heat energy required is the ambient temperature 8 degrees centigrade. So that we have to calculate temperature T1 8, so T2 is a 23. So that we use a formula, here is a MC, T2 minus T1. And this is a mass, here is a specific heat capacity, T2 minus T1 is a temperature region. So in this case, our mass or is a 100, 1200. Also, uh, 920 joule per kilogram is substitute. T2 is a 23 T1 8. So then we calculate it. So you got a 1650 joule. So that this one converted to the kilojoule by dividing the 1000. So in this case, uh, also mega joule divided by the uh, demo of C. So you got a 16 point, 5, 6 mega joule. Then we also have to calculate for the uh, power rating. So power also need to calculate heat energy. Power multiplied time is uh, we got a heat energy. So power multiplied uh, time is a 6 hour multiplied by 3,600. So then we calculate. So this is the equivalent to the 1650000. So the, in this case, the time is that uh, we utilize for the six hour. Time utilizing the this is for the six hour. So the the citation and the wine lights are concentration also important. You have to make the assessment to prevent the harm the plant uh, cannot make there's a negative impact on them as well. And we also have to utilize the resources. We determine the appropriate energy saving procedure to increase the efficiency of machinery equipment and though it also important aspect. Also, that you have to increase the use of the nature energy, also important aspect. So this is the way we have to find out the uh, environment impact assessment. And then here is uh, we are talking about this uh, flowers and lens uh, connection circuit. So there we get two flowers and lights uh, supplied by the agency supply. So the flowers and lights, data, and also borders, uh, their connection. 
So the when the flower lens are the taking the electrical current, then we do body, V I is a resistant body, V I is an internal body, V is a supply body. So then we have to find out the total body across the flower lens. So in this case, we have to find measure set up the circuit. Then we have to measure the supply body, measure the voltage body, and then we have to fill in the disk way also. In the meantime, uh, we also have to supply the supply body square equal to the sister body square plus in the body square. Therefore, they, in this case, uh, if you find out the VR square root of supply body square minus V S square. So this is the we cal calculate. And also that we have to determine the inductance of the choke, the VA supply uh, body across a choke, H A is a, a inductive reagent and the I is a current. So by this formula has to be utilized. And then so therefore the H A is a VA by I. So that in this case we call it HL. So this HA divided by 2 by F. The pi is a 3 by 1 for 1 C, A is the frequency. Then you can collect the inductance value. So this is the way we calculate the inductance of the choke. Now these uh, we have to install the fire and the smoke alarm in the system. Fire and the smoke alarm are to be installed across into the AS3 down there, 2016, uh, cross of 4 by 6. So that you find out the cross 4 by 6, fire and uh, smoke alarm. AS3 down there, 2016. Cross 4 by 6. Cross four one six. We look at the cross four one six. Five is a cross four one six. The fire and smoke alarm installation cross four one six. The smoke alarm installation. National building code and the state legislation have requirement for the installation of smoke alarm, including location, number required, and interconnections of alarm purpose. So in this case, uh, we have to refer the national building code and state legislation to install the smoke alarm. Where the main power smoke alarms are lit, fitted, such alarm may be directly connected to a lighting finance sasaki or individual finance sasaki. So in this case, our idea to those small alarm have to connect it to the finest sasaki. So this is a rule we have to utilize it for the small alarm. So alarm installation that rule have to be utilized. So this is the small alarm installation. So the building go of the Australia require the 240 volts are small alarm. So have to be installed at the primary alarm, and also we also need to uh, connect it to the secondary. A uh, backup alarm. So lighting final sasagi in the via final sasagi we have to install, and also the building go or also we are require that two hundred forty volt wire smoke alarm to be installed at the primary alarm. Also we install the backup alarm. The heat detection is also important aspect because of the heat data in the smoke alarm. When the fire breaking out, the smoke alarm detect the heat. So in this case, uh, the heat data is a fire alarm devices. Designed to the response when the connected time energy of fire increases, temperature of the heat sensitive equipment. So this is the way how the smoke alliance is utilizing. So that we have to utilize the time pass mass and the conductivity of the element is regulate the rate of the flow of heat into the element. So in this case, a smoke lamp must have the audio capacity 85 decibel and standard we have to revise the AS3 thousand now three ones are AC and 1993s are addition and also the uh, smoke sensitivity must have a smoke sensitivity range and the performance under the h weather and effect of the temperature need to be concerned about. The heat detectors are that we have to uh, utilize that they are fixed temperature type and the uh, rated or riser type. So there are two kinds of heat detectors. Now the fire line will be the heat detector. Detected type is a, is a activated by the heat of play. Smoke detector is a trigger by a small, so invisible 
body scale or the smoke and the photoelectric dye the alarm is going to do visible smoke body scale. So this is the type of the fire alarm. So in this case, uh, you have to, we also have to fire out the uh, supply the test work, session A, figure 2, page 3 or the 24. This is the reference one. So this is for the heat that did the alarm construction. So heat let down run so the response to the heat is a no smoke. In this case, uh, when the temperature is higher, uh, rise to the 75 degrees centigrade, uh, 73 degrees uh, is made the sound. So the reference are who is uh, the 1603.3, 1996 uh, addition, and then so uh, 58 to 88 uh, degrees centigrade, this is operating range. So that this is the uh, include the ionization of protection is included here. Let's test it to the uh, nutrients alarm caused by the contamination such as a dye and insects. Sometimes are they so, uh, this, it will be the uh, malfunction that can happen because you said, uh, because of the any uh, contamination or any uh, insect can cause a nuisance of uh, tripping. So in this case, uh, without fire, the smoke ground will be uh, operated, can happen like this. So in this case, our uh, first uh, operating temperature is a heat data. We use a 50 to 80 degrees centigrade operate. And rate or rise data die every eight, uh, every uh, minute. When the temperature rise is at 8 degrees centigrade, then the uh, rate or rise data die will operate. It's a designer to detect the first the blowing fire. So this is the way that we are uh, operating principle of the uh, smoke alarm. So in this case, our uh, rate or rise uh, conversation, rate conversation data die is ignoring uh, Rush of the one air. Sometimes a one air coming out, so that one is a no. One air is a no. Say fire, so it should be the neglect. Uh, contamination is a. We also utilize the combination of the fixed temperature and the real as a high heat data type. Two data types are uh, utilized together. This is for the combination. So electronics are time and data types are also utilized. So this is uh, include the time star or heat sink sensitive device included. So the way the heat are produced. Time is star produce the electric current. So the resistant chain of the time is star is a monitor electronically and operate when the resistance reach the stability value or the sudden chain. So this is the way our uh, smooth down operates. Here is a uh, connection diagram of the ionization uh, uh, smooth analysis system. So this is for the uh, ethyl, ketho, and anode. When there's an uh, electric uh, uh, heat coming up, huh? So that the electrons are will be flowing from the one end of the candle, uh, end of the candle, and then uh, because of the electric alarm, so electric current is uh, sent by the electronic circuit, and then alarm will be sound. So they are supplied by the power supply. So there is increased smooth sensing chamber, also the reference chamber, and also radio at this are so they are also included. So it in containers are sensing chamber in which the uh, angles are. Uh, a radio addis are source and the two electrodes connected to the DC supply. Radio addis source in, uh, emit the uh, electron and electron charge and two ionized airs uh, make the conduction. The conduction causes the electronic circuit to sound the alarm. So this is the operation principle of the smoke alarm. So the, therefore the uh, smoke alarm is the operation here. Audio activity. So this is the thing. So in this case, uh, alarm sensitive will be depending on the particle size and the slopes are Smoke color. So in this case, sensitivity ray decrease the ionization process. This is the uh, radio uh, electric uh, them sensitivity. So radio electric ionization, we can the further uh, re relative uh, sensitivity. So here is a particle diameter relative sensitivity and how the gas are rated. So in this case, uh, the light can be the invisible light, dark and the black. So the air will be the sensitivity ray. So the that the operation on the dark and the photoelectric that they are the uh, radius graph you can see on the, this table. So then, where we start install the smoke alarm, we install the photos are uh, electric type. We install in the loud living area, bedroom, and uh, room. We have, you can install ionization. We have to install a hallway, corridor, study room, and home office. He did that either we have to start install at the garage and the ceiling space. Those are the uh, appropriate uh, kind of the places and the appropriate kind of smoke data has to be installed. Every row of the residential uh, building is at the kitchen and the garage. In this case, a combination that take place. In this case, the ionization respond to the solid fire. Paper and the straw is uh, 
ionization smooth is a rough smoothing. Photoelectric is a full type of lava or fire. In this case, photoelectric type is a rough smoothing. Therefore, that depending on the kind of fire, a full place a fire that die will respond to the fire. So in this case, synthetic materials are used for the building. So here is a electrical supply for the smoke detector system. May is include the subway wire and may switch, and, and then we call the distribution bulb. In this case, the fire detector is a that should be connected to the service wire. So in this case, are the, uh, this is the location of the smoke detector. Uh, in this case, uh, ionization cell uh, smoke detector have to install on the hallway. And photoelectric uh, smoke detector have to install on the balcony barrel. So this is the location. In this case, uh, when you are installing the smoke detector, it should not install the uh, displays because of the PI is a root. So display is a display. So we go from here to 50 millimeter, the distance is uh, the display because of the, the air is a not a circulation. This is a dead air space. So you cannot install a smoke detector uh, within a dead air space because it cannot sense. Similarly, the, at the corner from the 300 millimeter range, the range at that place, we cannot uh, install a smoke detector. So in this case, sometimes at the kitchen, if you install it in front of the kitchen, so the kitchen is a normal smoke, are the normal smoke. So those smoke detector, we will only send the kitchen smoke, smoke and uh, if we send a uh, uh, wrong signal. So this is why that we cannot install the, that kind of smoke detector uh, close to the kitchen. This is also important aspect. So the quantity of the final sustenance is supplying the electric indirectable power supply. So electricity inverter, inverter must pull, uh, agree with the 4 by 2 by 4 by 1 D. And this is a switch and connected to the main manual, manual only switch and connected to the inverter. So the end of today's lesson, uh, we're talking about the uh, indirectable power supply. and the standby generator system. Now we're talking about the energy engineer workshop. Practice three. Practice three. So this is for the low tolerance and measurement. Low tolerance and measurements are we utilize the Vanier clipper or the microza micro clipper. So this is a uh, Vanier clipper called the main screen and a Vanier screen. So the every uh, main screen called the wide division called the one millimeter, Vanier screen one division or the 0 two millimeter. Similarly, these are micro clipper. This is also main screen and Vanier screen. Main screen and timber screen. Main screen called the one. Each uh, scale got the one millimeter, timber scale, each one got the 0 0.01 millimeter. So how to read? So first thing is uh, you read there's a main scale value. So in this case, main scale value is a multiplied by one millimeter. And then the uh, vanilla scale. So the, in this case, the uh, vanilla scale zero. Vanilla scale zero in line with the main scale. So this main scale value you have to read. And one of the main scale and vanilla scale are essentially in line. So that vanilla value you have to take. So this vanilla value, multiply by 0 0.02, and this is for the number two. Number one is a, the main scale value indicated by the vanilla zero. So this way, this is a one, this is two. So one plus two, you got the, uh, by adding one plus two, you got the reason of the vanilla scale. So the four examples are, this one is a, this problem here. In this case, our main scale zero is a, indicate the vanilla scale. So vanilla scale value is a 37, multiply by one millimeter to 37 millimeter. And then, uh, main scale 7 and the vanilla scale value, now, uh, 0.15. Uh, 33 by 1.5 is uh, exactly on the line. So, therefore, the 33 uh, is a multiplied by 0 0.02. So, uh, this is the 33 point is a vanilla scale value. is uh, exactly with the main scale of 7. So, the uh, 33 multiplied by 7, 0.6. So, you add this two, you call the 37 by 6. So then, this one, you do the exercise. So this is for the how to read the subvariance scale. And also you do the low exercise. 
So in this case, uh, this one is a, uh, you have to read, so Vanya scale zero indicates the main scale value is a, uh, uh, 60 by five. So six by, this is six, so six by, six zero by five. And this is one millimeter, you call it 60 by 5 millimeter. And also the Vanya scale and the main scale. So Vanya scale will be C in line with the main scale. Now if you think by 0.02, you will have 1 by 1. Two. So you add this to 60 1 by 6 two. So then based on the, uh, the explanation, you do the exercise. And also the how to read this, uh, the micro clip bar. In this case, uh, the micro scale bar. So the main scale in line with the timber scale. So the main scale is that uh, you see that this main scale value, the main scale value you see is either a, a four. So the multiply with four, this is a four millimeter. And then this timber scale, this is a five. So this is the timber scale multiply uh, by one, so you got a five five millimeter. So you add this to four by five five millimeter. In this case, uh, you also see that our main scale value. Main scale value is that uh, you can see the main scale is a number three. So you add a three millimeter. Timber scale two. So this timber scale two multiplied by 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So you add this to three one zero two millimeter. So this is uh, in this case, our uh, main scale is zero, timber scale is zero. So this is uh, everything is zero. Here is a main scale three, timber scale two. So the main scale 3 you add and timber scale 2 multiply with 0.01 to 3102, so 3102 millimeter. This is the way you can utilize. So this is the how do we use a timber scale and a main scale uh, to do this uh, uh, where is uh, exact some measurement. The next one is a light sport CPI in the wall plate. CPI is a cardio parameter array. So this is a one of the scariest thing and then most are critical lies are threatening the situation. So sometimes our people are high is copied because of the electrical shock and other reasons. So in this case, we must provide the CPR. The first two minutes of the cardiac array is a very critical because of the when the heart stop breathing, the body will start the shutting down the brain, shutting down so that it can cause in the brain damage, also organ failure and body cell failure and that physical death can happen. Therefore, there's a first uh, within the first uh, two minutes, we have to uh, provide the injury. So initial treatment of the injury uh, in uh, is the first aid. And this is a professional remedy by the IRA qualified medical assessment assistant or the practitioner. All right, we must provide the first aid. So in this case, uh, we have to also we have to provide the then is for the vendors for the breathing, heart attack, electric shock, and each of the blanket. So especially the fat is uh, sometimes that uh, you uh, cutting hand or leg or body happen. In this case, machine to hand tools are uh, cut the hand, leg and body. In this case, we must provide the bandage and lotion. Or choking by smoke, we must provide the air, the breathing, and burn by gas, hot water, electric spark. In this case, burn treatment system must be applied. And also the radiation, we must provide the protection. Fall from the high broken injury. So in this case, a titan or the body pass to prevent the part of damage. So this is the way to provide the pass aid. So in this case, a D S R A B C D S R action plan must be followed. D is a danger. Ensure that the area is safer for the yourself, other, and the patient. I is a response. Check for the response. Ask the name, squeeze the shoulder. Is a nose response. In this case, send for the head. In response, you have to make the comfortable and monitor the response. So you have to call the treatment zero ambulance and the other personnel, professional to arrive. It is an airway, so open the mouth, place a recovery position and clear the airway with the finger. B is a breathing, in this case, right, check for the breathing, load, listen and feel. And it's a not normal breathing, in this case, you have to start as a CPR. And in the normal breathing, you have to place in recovery position and monitor the breathing. So CPR means that you need to start the CPR, start the chest compression and the two breathing, and you continue the CPR until the hair arrives. This is a defibrillation, so you have to apply a defibrillator and follow the advice prompts. So emergency procedure for the, the accident, firstly, uh, when the emergency happens, uh, firstly, you have to look around the, for the danger. So in this case, a light electrical wire, light electrical component, explosion, flammable material, gas smoke, heat need to be checked. And also the 
and you have to remove machinery parts you need to check and well liquid and dangerous substance falling down from the object you have to have to check and also the check for the cash your response you need to check the breathing response by the asking name blood pressure need to check check for the blood circulation also the cardiac arrest or not you need to ensure and uh, bleeding of blood and broken bone and the monitor the response and they also they answering the call so they had to be checked for the cash and the last of that is how you had to uh, provide the legal and the ethical issue and the duty of care to avoid the, any lawsuit and the, any embracing the situation is all the best to the license and the see the permission from the conscientious person to carry out the any fast aid this means that you want to treat the one person you have to take the submission from the their relative or the nearby people the first it does should see the legal advice from a lawyer or the legal practitioner so the jury of case is opposite to the negligence or the lack of care so reasonable uh, expectation to conduct the your duty within your scope of the work or the responsibility that is uh, both acceptable and uh, equitable so this is for the uh, duty of care duty of care is for the uh, very important for the health safety and the well-being of the employer and the employees so the, in this case uh, we have to follow the comply with the occupation of health safety act and the other regulation negligence are those are exercise and that's care uh, which are sometimes result in the additional but the problems and injury to the other person you real care is uh, also the defending yourself you need to provide the evidence that, that you have done a reasonable task to an attack to correct the situation in this case that uh, you have to uh, present a warrant call diary and a full notice the situation uh, beyond your control and capacity is uh, dangerous to execute the task so in this case you also need to uh, show the evidence it was uh, impossible for you to accept the situation due to time factor and location so this is for the name so the cardi cpr is a cardio pulmonary arrest the effect on the body so when the cardio pulmonary arrest happens so there's a failure of the ventricle of the heart to contact contracts are usually caused by the ventricular fibrillation or the electrical shock with the absence of the heartbeat so that when the heart stop it can cause a significant decay in the blood function, decrease in blood function. So normally it's a lower vein, high is a pumping, there's a arteries, uh, blood into the arteries. So that in this case, the output of the high is a higher so pressure. So that in this case, uh, when there's a, a decrease in blood pressure happen, the pressure in the arteries and the vein will be equal within a 15 seconds. In this case, a damage on the brain electricity within 10 seconds. So that when the brain loss the electricity brain oxygen deeply within two minutes and the cell will damage and it can cause a death therefore the why is obvious so in this case high school areas mean the deprive of the oxygen supply after the high is covered oxygen supply will stop it in this case our acid blood will be the acid so the bait out of the carbon dioxide in blood so the heart is a loss of pumping the proper oxygen so the industry carbon dioxide will take place uh, uh, in the place of the oxygen and the all the tissue can be damaged so the CBI is uh, providing the weight in the critical time and it uh, plus two minutes for the survival, uh, survival of the person so that we have to some many the CPR and the vital function when the person is un unconscious in this case we have to check the mouth activity for any blockage or any way and you have to check for the breathing at any moment in chat uh, if the good, you have to call the triple zero. Uh, if they're not breathing, you have to provide a CPR. So this is the way to provide the CPR. Firstly, you have to open the mouth and you have to provide the oxygen weight. Then uh, you have to uh, do the CPR compression. You have to knee beside the patient, locate the lower half of the breast, the bone in the center of the chest. Place the heel of the hand on the lower half of the breast bone. Place the heel of the other hand on top of the breast and then in the lock the finger and the raise the finger position yourself vertically above the patient's chest and press down the sternum to depress and then the release the pressure and you have to do that 30 times to the 100 times one minute 
So that in this case, the oral level of concession that can happen in this case, the lower oxygen level, heart and the circulation problem, and the metabolism problem, and the brain problem can happen. The sign and the symptom of the show are the fluid loss from the bone, intestine, damage to heart, severe so bleeding, spinal injury, the severe vomiting. So this is the college two and the sweetie and the confusion can happen, and rapid pass and the vomiting can happen. So this is for the cause of the heart. So heart is a no. So this is the ways are in this lesson I have already explained about the. Uh, how to provide the first aid and CPR. The first aid and CPI is very important for the emergencies and rescue the person. Then we're talking about the circuit breaker phone will be the manually prepared by disconnecting non essential load. Scan by alternator is start, run to speed, and the CV circuit breaker 2 is uh, close. When the supply power is a uh, essential load, so supplying the power to essential load. This is for the compensation of the main power supply and the circuit breaker arrangement and the standby order data. So this connection is an automated chain of our system. There are two feeder, feeder one, feeder two, and this will be the leave power supply and the load and automated transfer switch. And this is connected to the all load and this is standby generator. So this is the arrangement of the standby generator and the automated power transfer. So the, when the supply may lost, the control system sends the loss and operate the automated transfer switch. At the same time, the standby generator is started and then run up to speed. Once up to speed, the standby generator then supply the connected load. The control system will operate the appropriate circuit breaker to disconnect any non essential service. So this is the way of Combination of the standby generator and the load. So then we also talking about the in this case uh, we had to uh, consult about the cross four by twelve of the air three thousand. So plus plus four by twelve of the air three thousand is a uh, concern with the electric CV converter, and this is the type of electric CV converter. So the, in this case we had to utilize the uh, interactive power supply system had to utilize. Also, the semiconductor power converters are utilized and a body stabilizer need to be utilized and generator motor generator set and rotary they are in converter dice. So those are type of the electricity converter. They are the UPS and uh, interactive power supply or semiconductor power converter, converter and body stabilizer, motor generator sets, rotary converter. Similarly, electricity converter must be installed within with the independence and isolation switch. So all the electricity converter, we need to be installed with the independence and isolation switch. This is the uh, cross 4 by 12.4 of the air three of it. All the electricity converter protection. Every sun may or final sasaki algorithm from the electricity converter shall be individually protected. This is the cross 2 by 5. Uh, additional protection need to be provided for the cross 2 by 6. So this is the Plus two by five, plus two by six of the electricity that converter production. So here is a converter that is a low. In this case, I must not be uh, bypassed by the PLC. So where you have the connection between a converter and converter and low, they must not be bypassed. So this is a uh, across across four by two and four by one. For the RCD and the electricity converter residuals are current by need to be utilized. So they are mentioned in the 4.12.5.2.2 of the year 3000. RCD Chevy type of the Swiss RCD Chevy all the type suitable for the way for the particular inverter. And we also need to provide the adding system for the standby generator. So we must follow the cross 4.12.6. So protected adding connector shall not be switched. MEM connection remain intact. Adding for the engine driven generator set is a mention must follow the AS and the 3010 uh, standard. Also, the standalone power system, we must follow the AS and the 4509. Photo voltage array, we must follow the AS and the 5033. Inverter system must follow the AS and the 4377. So, those are appropriate rule regulation and the standard related to the uh, standby generator system. So, the in this case, uh, we also have to utilize a standby generator. Standby power systems are uh, identified to provide the power at the specified voltage and the frequency. Appropriate voltage and frequency 
Just power. UDS are indirectly power supply. So UBS convert the DC to AC. And I'm going to must not be switched. And standby generator require the prime mover. And this is power by the DC engine, LPG gas or nature gas. So they cover down RCD connected. So the RCD waveform must suit to inverter output. So this is also important aspect. So that there are also the difference between the inverter and the rectifier. Inverter function is that converting the DC to AC, rectifier AC to DC is converting. So the cross by three four uh, follow the incorporating the battery system. So the cross four by three is when you utilize in the UPS. We also utilize a bus fee. So class 7.3 of the AF3000 is mentioned about the incorporating the bus fee. So the other good data side has to be utilized. So in this case, our other good data side, we have to refer the session file of the AF3000 because of the, depending on the supply current, so KV multiplying 10 or 3, root 3 and 400 volt, you got a current. So based on the current, we have to select the protectors are adding good data side. It must be on the table 5 by 1. So table 5 by 1 of the air 3 down there. Now I show you the air 3 down there, table 5 by 1. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 5 by 1 of the air 3 down there is a mention about the uh, slipping the adding on other side. So this, depending on the ethic card, eh, we have to select the adding on other side. Adding good data and adding good data side the relationship. Five, I'm looking for the five by one. Adding on that side. I will show you that they were five by one of the things on that side. This is a uh, session five is a especially for the RT system. So depending on the epic codata side, we have to find out the appropriate RT codata side. So this RT codata table is a mentioned about the table five by one. So I look looking at the session for the table five by one. Here yeah, table five by one. So here is a minimum RT codata side. So in this case, uh, depending on the epic codata side. Ethic on the side, depending on the maximum demand current. Based on the maximum demand current, you set the ethic on the side. And then this is for the adding on the side. Adding on the can be the copper or aluminum. So the side of adding on the side can be utilized by repairing the table 5 by 1. So this is the adding on the side. So based on the table 5 by 1, you can select the appropriate adding on the side. So we also use a overcurrent protection device. Overcurrent protection device shall be located as close as predicted to the output terminal of the electricity converter so that the unprotected interconnection converter are as short as a predicted So this is the uh, requirement. Overcurrent protection device shall be located as close as a predicted to the output terminal of electricity converter so that the unprotected interconnection converter as short as a predicate. So uh, this cross are 4 by 2 by 5 by 2 once I mentioned about that one. And also that we also need to uh, install the independent isolation switch. 
So in this case, our CD connection is an increase of voltage. So each cell got the one by one volt. So there are four one by one volt cells are added together to so total voltage is six volt. And current is a common current is a flowing. This is a parallel connection of the battery. Same volt batteries are same voltage batteries are to be connected in a parallel. So in this case, our E1, E2, E3 are producing the I1, I2, I3 currents, and the combination of all current is the ID. So ID is the combination of current. So the electro potential should be the aluminum one by six seven volt and the net is a point one three volt. So the electro material can be the this is a hydrogen. So this will be the hydrogen zero, copper point three four, carbon point seven four, silver point eight, and four one by four. Volt. This is the electro potential. Depending on the electro material, there will be the electro potential. So then also that we can also like the, the type of the dry cell. We use the dry, dry cell and we utilize. So there will be the, this is the calculation, calculation of the potential. share. So copper, copper and the zinc are utilized. So it is copper is a 0.3 volt, zinc is a uh, 0.76. So zinc minus 0.76 so minus minus, so then you got a plus. So this is a 1 by 3 volt. So this will be the copper calculation. And here is a connection, uh, installation of the dry chemical cell. So this is a positive terminal, it's carbon, and this is a negative terminal. So here negative terminal is at the shell and positive the electrode. So electrode and the electrode is zinc, and this is the copper. So that installation, the potential will be like this. So the, in this case, are carbon and the electrode, this is the carbon, this is zinc. So the, what happens is the carbon minus zinc. So carbon is 0.7 volt, zinc is a minus 0.7 volt. So we got 1 by 5 volt. So this is the way we got the every cell got the 1 by 5 volt. So we use a electric torch on the alarm circuit. Also, we also use the body bed testing device and body beds are radio. Those are the devices we are utilizing, that those are copper. So we also utilize the tables of the you know, place of uh, pipe. This is for the type of the material and the application. So chemical reaction slow at the low temperature. And the low temperature can be get reaction uh, slow. So that we need to uh, store at the below the PB degree centigrade. When the internet activity increase, so it will be affected with uh, the discharge, it will be affected. So therefore, the neighbors are uh, crush the primary cell. If you crush the primary cell, it can explode. Cell can be get, they are uh, dangerous. Therefore, the, we have to do like appropriate uh, protection devices. So the secondary cell are the recharging vessel. But three, each cell has a different uh, energy density. The energy density of the cell is a measure at the amount of the chemical uh, electrolyte per unit or the power volume, which can be uh, stored in the uh, battery. So this is the way uh, how the electric uh, cell are uh, utilized. So this is for the type of the nickel cadmium cell, nickel metal hydride, and lithium ion, and the lead acid. So this is for the Appropriate uh, weight and they are also the weight by litter and their relationship table. So we have to find out the 
ဒီကဲဗိုဒေးဝိဆန်ဝါဘိုက်ဒူဘိုဆဲဗိုဒေးဝိဆန်ဒီကဲအကယ်ဒမီယံဆဲဆာဗိုဒေးဝါဘို
we need to clean the battery pain, we need to protect the edge screens at temperature, not to charge or discharge at the excessive high current rate and the rate of the charge and the discharge at the specific design level is important. So the cell capacity and the discharge rate are depending on the cell capacity is a based on the MPR hour method. So the one MPR hour is produced by cell when the one MPR flow of the period of one hour. So this the MPR hour calculation is a I multiplied T. It is a capacity in MPR hour, I is a charge current and T is a time hour. So that we use solve this problem. We calculate the time required for the discharge of the 200 MPR hour story battery is a constant discharge current of 20 MPR flow. We have to assume so the MBR hour I multiplied by T. So the T is a MBR hour by I. So MBR hour I given 200 and also the current 15. So you got a 30 by 3 MBR. Similarly, so we also have to realize that if the uh, storage battery is a, have, was a discharge at the constant rate of the full hour, how much current is to be lose? So in this case, uh, MBR hour I multiplied by T. So I will do MBR hour by time. So the, in this case, 200 is the MBR hour given, four hour, so it's a given so that you got it, the charge that could be MBR. So this is the next one is the MBR hour efficiency. MBR hour efficiency, NAA is going to do MBR hour output by MBR hour input. NAA is our efficiency, AH hour is the MBR hour deliver during the discharge of I out multiplying time. MBR hour A is the MBR hour supply during the charge the I in multiplying time. So this is the way we calculate the MBR hour. So this problem, we need to calculate the time required to charge the 500 MBR hour story battery with a constant current of 70 MBR. So assume the MBR hour efficiency of the battery is 90%. So the MBR hour efficiency is AH out by AH in multiplied by 100. So 90 value I out multiplied by time divided by 500 to 100. So the I R is 70, so the from here you solve it, you got the time the same by four L hour. The next one is the if battery the rate at the 150 MBR hour is to be charged at the constant current is the eight hour. What will be the charging current is the MBR hour efficiency 90%. So in this case, we as given the uh MBR hour is up with the 150 MBR hour, MBR hour is with I A multiplied T. So NA is a AH out by AH in by 100, so 90 equal to AH out of 150, AH in the I in multiplied T into 100. So T is an 8 hours, so you substitute here, then you got the I A is a 20 by 8 and here we go, calculate that. So this will be the uh, connection of battery E. E and other battery here, V is a time and voltage, and I is a low, this is a small I is a battery internals are resistant. So I got a flow to low, so the E is a V multiplied by IR. This is the way we calculate it. So the I equal to E divided by IR plus R. It quite has a resistance of the Wi Fi O is connected to the cell with the open circuit voltage of 1 Wi Fi volt. Find the current flowing on the terminal resistance of say the 0 0.10. So this is the way we have to calculate. So in this case, uh, this uh, diagram is given here 1 by 5 volt and uh, 1 by i is a 0 0.1 and i is a 0 0.5. So the i is going to eat by i plus r. So 1 by 5 is 0.5 plus 0 0.1. You go to 2 by 5 MBR. The next problem is that a cell has an open circuit of voltage of the 1 by 5 volt. When the current of the 880 milli MBR flow in the cell, terminal voltage draw to the 1 by 1 by volt. We have to calculate the terminal resistance of the cell. So that see the E equal to V plus I R. So that 1 by 5, 1 by 1 by 5 plus 1 by 0.88. So that then we calculate the R value. So this is R we calculate that. The name is that A cell has the terminal voltage of the thing volt. Internal resistance is a 0.58 ohm. We need to calculate the open circuit voltage is the current of 250 milli MBR flow in the cell. So in this case, we use that we have to find out the E voltage is a 1 by 3, I is a 0 0.5, 0 0.58, and then I is a 250, these are milli MBR. So E equal to V plus IR. So V is a 1 by 3, I is a 0.125, I is a 0.58, so you got 1 by 4 by 4. So this is the connection of the uh, internet uh, resistance R. So the battery called the E R, so that this is the R equal to NR, E equal to NE. 
So A is a number of the battery. So this is what we calculated. The so next one is a uh, 12,115 cell. Each with the internal system by Leo are uh, grouped in a series to supply the A standard current, uh, A standard circuit having in a system of 11 by 5 volts, and uh, determine the currents are supplied to the load. So ED is equal to NE. So the each engine number of the battery is when we call the 1 by 5 volt, 18 volt. RD equal to NR, so the RD is a total internal resistance, and it's a number of battery, I is an internal resistance of each battery. So N by 1 by 3, we call the 3 by C. So therefore, we write down the equation, I equal to ED by RD plus RD. So 18 by 1, 11 by 4, 4 plus 3 by C, we call the 1 by 2 NBR. And if you connect the battery and pair it, so that this is HE, R is here, ED is equal to E, RD equal to R divided by number of battery. So that's cool that we also have to calculate this problem. So these are one by five volt cell. Each got an internal resistance by three. They group it in a pair to supply a low resistance by two seven five. Where do Find out the current. So the E D is the one by five volt, R D equal to R divided by point three. So I is point three by two H you got a point two five. So I equal to E D by R D plus R so the one by five divided by point two seven five plus a point two five you got the current is a five and yeah. So this is how we calculate it. So this is what the two S are batteries are we connected here. So two S are one by five volt batteries are connected to C D and connected in the terminal. So in this case, we have to arrange the terminal. So this is for the, uh, the all batteries are connected to a number. So this is the way that we calculate the how the to the current and to the body, the calculation we got it. The next one is uh, we need to calculate the continuous current. That the battery of 30, 300 MPa hour rating is a discharge at a 5 hour. Is an MPR hour output is reduced to the 80% of all the generators at 10 hour rating. So in this case, that 80% reduction of the 300 MPR hour is a 480 by 300, you got a 240 MPR hour. So we have to find out the discharge time. Discharge time is given the 5 hour. So the current had to calculate so the I MPR hour by T, so the 240 by 5, you got a product right in 8 MPR. Uh, and the next problem is uh, 12 by 8, 12 volts are battery consisting of the the say, six say, require the 40.7 volt to charge at the 20 MBR. Find the internal signal of the ESA cell after the charging has been completed. So this program here. So that will be the E is a 40 by 7, V is a 12 volt, E is a V plus I into RD. So E 40 by 7, V is a 12, I is a 20, so then you got the RD is a 1 by 3, 5, uh, 1 3, 5 ohm. 135 ohm we got. So the all the batteries are charging connected in series RD 135. So that we have to find out the each uh, internal resistance. So the RD is going to sit multiplying R is a 135 is a uh, 6 R. So the I is 135 by 6 got a point zero two two five ohm we got it. Each of our one will say are arranged in the two parallel group and if the Says are connected to the 12 ohm load, we have to find out the current. So this is the battery connection. So in this case, uh, each branch voltage uh, is a, you call the sit in series. So the 1 by 5 multiplies are 4, you got a 6 volt. And also the uh, total resistance of the branch. So this connected in series. So the 0.3 multiplies 4, you got the 1 by 2. But two are connected in parallel. So the body is, is 6 volt, but the RTD is a R branch by 2, you got the 5 6 volt. So the I equal to E by R plus RL, so the 6 by 5 by 6 by 2, you got the 5076 MBR. So this is the way we calculated. So then based on the here, you have to do the load tutorial. So this is the tutorial question. Tutorial questions are, you have to uh, do the load tutorial question. Also, the do uh, tutorial question. So that this uh, lesson in a trade two, I have explained you about the standby power supply and requirement of the generator, and also the 
appropriate size AM3000 rule. Also, I explain you about the battery. Then we also the talking about the electric trade one. What's your price?
So today lesson, uh, today lesson is uh, we are talking about the emergency system. So the emergency system include the two system, uh, interactive power supply and also the uh, fire protection system. So uh, interactive power supply is uh, powered by the battery. They are is utilized as a standby order generator system. So emergency system, uh, fire alarm system is emergency of uh, lighting. So emergency protection, fire alarm protection, and emergency lighting and I interactive power supply system. They are the components of the emergency system. So the uh, interactive power supply is uh, we call it a UPS. We call this a two system offline UPS and online UPS. All right, you can see the change over the switch to the base power to the UPS power when the supply is uh, off. And also the online is a emergency supply is uh, connected when the main power is off. The only essential loads are supplied. This is for the difference between offline and online UPS system. Now here we got that this is a diagram of the offline UPS system. The main power supply include the body regulator, filter, and connected to the load and also the battery charger, battery, and the inverter. So this way is a transfer from the uh, this side to this side. Then uh, when the main power is off, the switch go to the inverter battery side and the load is uh, continue to supply. When the uh, main power is on, the battery is uh, being charged. So that the main to the battery charger over time or the uh, battery to the main, uh, main chain over uh, time is typically is uh, three to Eight milliseconds. Within three to eight milliseconds, the power will be transferred. The chain over is done by the transistor switch, transfer switch, when the um, power failure is sensed. So the, when the main power is failed, then is the, the sensor switch are sensed the main power, and then it transfers to the battery charger size, the battery size. So that by this way, the emergency power is being supplied. Here is a diagram of the online UPS system. So the main a system rectifier and we charge the battery and then after battery power take out go to the inverter and the supply will load and here we also got a static bypass way when the main power is on so this static bypass will bypass the uh, battery but the when power main power is off the bypass switch uh, will uh, switch off and the battery will supply the load so the, this is for the normal system and the, the emergency system So the main power fail. When the main power fail, so the this is for the battery supplying the inverter and connected to the load. So this type of UPS is a system remain on the battery, whether main AC is a present or not. When the main AC is present, it provides power to the rectifier which charge the battery. Simultaneously provide DC supply to inverter that provides a main frequency and the body supply to the load. When the main power fails. The battery supply the load to the inverter. The, the system may be equivalent with the switching of non essential load when the main power fail. So this is for the connection. Here will be the uh, operation principle of online UPS. So this is the online UPS system. So here you see the main rectifier, inverter, battery, band, steady bypass switch, and connected to load. So this includes the transfer switch. Transfer switch station mode is uh, whether online or offline is uh, embedded. The when to set the offline. Monitoring system or main power is also the activated. The simplified block diagram of the system is shown in the figure. In this type of UPS, the system always remains on the battery, whether main AC present or not. When the main AC present, it provides the power to the device, which charge the battery and simultaneously provide the DC supply. So here is the connection of the electrodes that can be guessed. Electro can be guessed so connection. This can be uh, recharged to the cell, so this is for the S anode and this is the cathode. So here is a solder bridge and a load. So when the solution containing the electrolyte ions, so the electrolyte ions are the uh, create the ions of the party cell, so positive and negative charge. So this is copper survey solution, the anode electrode is a, the we uh, provide the Cu.2 plus and also the salt bridge is include as a, a AG and also that this is the AG uh, cathode electrode. So this is all the cathode uh, uh, anodes are called the positive and negative charge 
and bind the electricity with supply. So this is what the uh, power balance are, electrical balance of di diagram of the, the, the copper sulfate and also the ele electro of the, the, the cell. So here you got this, uh, uh, there will be the electrolysis. The dust of the, uh, the dust given for the hydrogen of bubbles are building up on the kettle or the cell is a time the electrolysis. So in this case, uh, you got this, uh, uh, carbon zinc or lithium or the alkaline or mercury. So the lithium is a longest uh, uh, cell life. So they are digging, they have the longest cell life. So in this case, uh, the open circuit body of lithium uh, magnesium cell is a 3 by 8 volt. Open circuit terminal body of lead acid cell is a 2.105 volt. Uh, so the capacity is a, it can supply the uh, 7, 60 to 75 uh, watt hour kilogram. Uh, operating temperature is a minus 40 to the plus 60 degrees centigrade. So this is a battery charging and discharging side diagram. When the battery charge, there will be the, this is the constant voltage. So there will be the cells are uh, voltage and also the charging die. We can draw this up, uh, the charging and discharge die. So this is charging graph and here is discharge graph. Battery capacity measured by the MPR hour AH. So we have to calculate the continuous current that is battery with the 300 MPA hour rating can deliver on the 10 hour discharge. So maybe the current can be calculated by MPA hour divided by time hour. So 300 divided by 10, you got the 30 MPA. So this is the charge mobile cell, 3 by 8. So capacity is the cut off voltage and the charging time and the capacity with the fuse are saturation. So this is a charge board of cell and capacity the cover body and charging tie and the capacity the fuse are saturation. So the charging board of cell and the relation diagram. Here is a battery equation. Battery equation is a E is an electromotive board, E equal to V plus I R. So E is an electromotive board of the battery, I is an internal resistance of the battery, I is a current, I is a low, uh, capital I is a low resistance, V is a terminal body of the battery. So we can write down the E is a V plus I R. So in this case, V equal to I into uh, capital R. So the E equal to I capital R plus I small r. So the E equal to I capital R plus small r. So the I equal to E divided by capital R plus small r. The next one is a force are acting some mechanism. Cells are uh, each with the open circuit body is 1 by 5 volt. They are connected to parallel to supply the AO load. Uh, supply the 3 ohm load and uh, ignoring the internet resistance we need to calculate over circuit voltage of the battery and load current and sub current supply by the EC. so this is the connection of the diagram so each of provide a 1 by 5 volt and internet resistance is 0 and load resistance is 3 ohm so the serial parallel combination so this is for the serial combination is a we can connect the so in this case uh, this is for the diagram of the uh, Diagram. So in this is series combination is that uh, all the products are, can be added together, all the internet resistance can be added. Parallel combination is that uh, all the internet resistance have uh, reverse of the internet resistance uh, addition and total current is equal to the I1 plus I2 plus I3. So they are the components of the E. So for this reason, uh, this problem we calculated. So the, in this case, supply voltage is a V, V is a uh, 1 by 5 volt. And the by the rotation at 3, so you got a 0.5 MBR. So the Airbus are uh, is supplying the, the current I1 plus I2 plus I3 I4 all combination 0.5 MBR. But all the I1, I2, I3, I4 are equal because of this, because it's the same voltage and the same internet resistance. For this reason, uh, 4 multiplied by I battery is uh, equal to the 0.5, so the I equal to 0 by 1 by 5 MBR. In this case, also the uh, in the above program, uh, it's a battery internet system 0.040 and uh, each uh, calculate the current supply by the E battery. So the E equal to 1 by 5 volt, 1 by R is a 1 by 0.04 plus 1 by 0.04 plus 1 by 0.04 plus 1 by 0.04. So 1 by R is 4 by 0.04, you got the R equal to the 0.01 ohm volt. So this is the way we calculate it. Okay, so the, in this case, the supply voltage is a, uh, internet system 0.5 volt, the current is 0 by 1 by 0 is a, the resistance 3 ohm, so the E equal to I plus R, some more R plus can be the R. So the 1 by 5 equal to I into 3 plus 0.01, then we calculate I equal to 0.498. So this is what to the current, but the each battery supply is a divided by 4, you got the uh, 
what you want to pull at the end. So this is for the uh, battery in the array well battery in emergency system. So there are central system. Central system is a central battery bank. It's supplied to the main inverter and then we connect it to the chain over switch. So connect it to also the main power line and for also here you can connect it to the load. So this is a central system. Container system is every system called the individual battery. So uh, central system and container system are diagram. So in this case, there are two advantages, side the two advantages and the two disadvantages of the central battery system over a cell container system. To provide the electrical power to the ingress and lighting during the time of main power failure. So in this case, uh, advantage is a one centralized battery provide for the required main uh, maintenance time by the uh, concentrating the battery source in the one space so that in this case a centralized system is easier to do the maintenance in some installation central system can be less expensive to the install but this advantage is that all the cabling between the battery and the luminous must be the fire rated there must be the mims or pvc in the sea go you and radar battery as, as well failure of the battery means a total failure of the whole system and the next one is the battery charging. These are three precautions which must be observed when the charging is then uh, charging in the standby battery. So the safety plug fitted to the cell must be firmly tied in the place at all times during the charging. Electrolyte level must be maintained and the electrolyte temperature should not be allowed to the reach a 45 degrees centigrade. When the boost or the supplementary the chain has been uh, completed, uh, when the boost or supplementary charge has been completed, the battery must be the return to the flow condition to provide the to prevent the damage of the cells. So this is the chain of acid. In this case, uh, uh, this is for the emergency system. So the, this is a uh, step by the portable uh, alternator system. They can be the diesel driving, petrol driving, and gas driving. So this is the step by the portable uh, alternator system, modern engine, and small alternator is already low and also battery charge up supplying the battery and then resupplying the excitation body. So then in this case, uh, we need to consider the amount of the load on the system cause an availability of the cell, uh, amount of the load on the system cause an availability of the fuel and the maintenance cost don't need to be a concern about. And the internet combustion engine has the power efficiency but the cheaper to buy. These engines are uh, utilized as a main the prime mover. They are the more expensive, higher fuel cost less tolerance to the dirty fuel and a high, higher maintenance cost and a lower running cost per hour and longer and a more reliable life. So this is for the uh, feature of the uh, diesel engine. In the meantime, our remote uh, area power supplies are we sub utilize the PV module or wind turbine or uh, mini hydro. So this is the production method is uh, we have to protect the in this uh, island is our protection because of the main the power supply of in this case we also need to order the grid connected PV module because they need to send the sensor and then we have to off the inverter module. So the activate the circuit we got to trade off. This is the way we provide this uh, in the island data protection. Why is it at this uh, in the island protection passive protection? At this in the island protection isolate the generation source from the distribution system in the email of the distribution system supply failure. Passive production that in addition to the above uh, and the island production, the customer generation uh, facilities must have the following uh, minimum production in inverter. They must have the overall under voltage frequency uh, production, overall under voltage, uh, voltage uh, sensor, and overall under overcurrent and short circuit production. Those are the requirements. So this is the diagram of the three phase uh, generator load and the chain over switch and the supply connection and this is what the uh, main neutral and the alde and the low and the generator and the supply chain over emergency system and the normal systems are connection diagram so the, in this case schematic diagram of the emergency system here is a schematic diagram of the emergency system so this is what customer generation so this is inverter connected to the main switch and also normal distribution supply and the consumer load. So this is for this is we use a, a connection of the 
cast number generation so and also that this is for the integration interconnection protection inverter and from metering equipment they are connect provided The next one is that we're talking about the you know, fire protection and the residential so smoke alarm system. So the two alarm the occupant of the building in the event of the fire breakout. So the when the fire breaking out, the smoke detector detects the smoke and the sound alarm. In the meantime, we also provide a sprinkler system. They produce in contain the smoke and heat detection and then also automatic water spraying function provided. So electricity supply to the smoke detector system. They detect the electrical supply with smoke detector, uh, which can all be indirect by the base way. So this is the uh, this is survey made, this is the base way, this is survey. But here is a direct connected to the uh, uh, smoke detector system. So this is just a operation of smoke detector system. Normally it's an electrical power, so this is a, a smoke. When the smoke happens, it can be the uh, iron ice. Uh, Positive and negative ions are particle happen. So the positive electrode, they go to a negative electrode, then the electrical current flow, the currents are sound the alarm. So the end ionizing are changing chamber contain is a, a minute amount of the radioactive material, uh, America, under the normal condition, the airs are connected in the ionizing chamber A ionize, allowing the small current to flow from the battery through the chamber. When the smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts the current flow and activates the alarm. It's a more responsive to the flaming fire. And then it's a smoke alarm. All the smoke alarms are considered to be safety device. The smoke alarms are not considered to be safety device for the purpose of the air 3000 standards. In this case, the type of the smoke detector is a carbon particle detector and a light detector system. Then we have to install the smoke uh, alarm system. We have to install why do you install a smoke alarm at the dead air zone? This is for the, from the this is dead end, about from the 300 millimeter. This is the dead old zone. So we can install the smoke alarm system. Also, that we cannot install the uh, uh, air flow coming from the kitchen. We can uh, install the smoke alarm here because of the, the smoke alarm we uh, sense the smoke from the kitchen. You know? And also, that it cannot be uh, installed in the bathroom. There's a location of the smoke alarm where uh, it need to be installed. We need to install a smoke alarm in the bedroom as well as uh, anyway. Uh, this is a smoke alarm system, electrical wiring, so that active wire, nuclear wire, and uh, interconnection. The location of smoke detector should be there close to the bedroom and also top of the stair outside the bedroom. The ionizing smoke detector need to be uh, installed. In the kitchen, we have to install a thermal smoke detector system. So limitation is a uh, why do you install the smoke alarm in kitchen unless a thermal smoke detector is used? Not in the bathroom, not in garage, and not in the very uh, humid area. They must be the 3 meter from the bathroom and the 7.5 meter from the gas heater. So in this case, uh, we had to utilize a cable selection. So the uh, air 3000, uh, 2016, table 5x1, 5x2, 8x1, 8x2, those are the table had to utilize. Okay, this problem. If every installation has a 3 feet 400 volt supply, who has a multi-bay other than nuclear condition? The maximum demand current of the installation is calculated at the 180 and the hour phase. The greater portion of the maximum demand current is a balance over the three phase. The ethnic conductors are the three single core, non-armors of V90 insulated and a sheeted circular cable 
with the Copas of Contadas. Installation of cable placed then in the rigid thermal plastic conju, burying the ground at the best of the 500 millimeter at the end of the temperature 25 degrees centigrade. So this is what the tip drawdown is given. So this is the connection. So we have to connect the connection is a the carrier of whatever the circuit breaker. We have to determine the connector side and side of the neutral wire. Cable length is 100 meter. In this case, uh, they are table 3 by 1, 3 by 2. This is for the air 3008, table 3 by 1, 3 by 2 for the air, 3 by 3 and 3 by 4 for the underground. So the, in this case, thermoplastic conju is a uh, inner thermoplastic engine. This is an underground enclosure. So we have to repair the table 3 by 4. Three single go cable. In this case, we have to repair the item 2 and the series enclosure is a 22. So here yeah, we can see about the uh, air 3 down the 8. Okay, the next one will be the electrical trick like this. Three. Okay. Electrical engineer trick like this are trick two. So that one is a electrical engineer practice like for the bachelor applied engineering. And now I'm talking about the trick two uh, subject. Electrical trick like this three. So we start from the last week we already talked about the heating control system. Now we continue the, the next one. Twist heating appliance. So the electric case are uh, heating is depending on the nature of the heat and also behavior of the heat. So energy conversion is producing the heat. So electric heating is a you need to like keeping one in the way. Window condition, window tie, but this advantage is a heating cable appliance during the use because of the electric current, so much electric current flowing through, so that it can heat the cable and appliance when you are using. Heat in the body, when the over temperature happens or heat in the body happens, in this case, uh, it can cause a personal injury. In the meantime, uh, equipment damage can happen. Over temperature can cause a personal injury. Heat in the body also causing a personal injury. So the heat is a form of energy. Chemical, electrical energy can be converted to the thermal energy, chemical energy, and mechanical energy. So the heat energy increase, body temperature will be increasing. So we use a Kelvin scale, Kelvin degree K is 273 plus C. So absolute zero is a minus 273 degrees centigrade. So heat can be calculated MC into delta D is the equation. Here is a, here is a heat energy joule, and a mass of the material kilogram, C the 4180 joule by kilogram degree centigrade, or a 4.2 kilojoule kilogram degree Kelvin. Delta D is the change of the temperature. So those things we calculate it. So this is what the H to MC delta D. The, the problem is a, a 1200 watt a jack takes a 3 minutes to boil the water how much energy is used. So the energy E can be calculated power multiplying time so the kilowatt a kilowatt into hour. So this is the way we calculate the energy. So the, in this case are the 1 to 0, 0 into the 3 minutes or so 3 into 60 so you call the 216 kilojoule. 216 0, 0, 0 or 216 kilojoule. So the next one is the how long are we it take to the 100 1,500 watt charge to boil the water is a 5,000 joules or the energy utilized. In this case, E could be P multiplied by T. T is a E by P, so the 5,000 by 1,500, you got a 3 by 3 degrees seconds. 1 kilowatt hour is equivalent to the uh, 3 by 6 megajoule. 1 kilowatt kilowatt is given the 3 by 6 megajoule. So 1 kilowatt is a kilowatt into hour. Heat moves from the higher temperature to the lower temperature. This is the nature of the heat. So the next problem is that a 244 radiator takes the 2,500 watt for the three, two hours. So we have to calculate the amount of electrical energy used in a kilowatt. So the E is P multiplied T. So power is a 2,500 by 1,000. You got the kilowatt multiplied two hours. So you got the five kilowatt. So this problem is that a 244 range 
draw the current term 32 MBR for 60 minutes. We calculate, need to calculate the amount of the electrical energy used in kilowatt. ratio. The kilowatt ratio is kilowatt into hour. Kilowatt ratio is 1 by 1,000. Hour is a minute by 60. So in this case, the duration of VI, power is a body by doing current. So the body is a 240 volt and current 32 divided by 1,000. We call the kilowatt. And also the one hour is 60. So that we do 7 by 6 hour kilowatt. This is the way we calculate it. So the he transfer his said uh, when uh, he is a uh, cool hot element, cooler elements are touching, he will transfer from the hot to cooler. This is a solid, so this is a uh, conduction method. And uh, conversion method is uh, for the liquid. He is a uh, uh, when you heat the particles are will move up and then when and they will also move down. So uh, this is the way circulating. So this is the molecule and liquid will be the uh, circulating like this. So this is the heat transpire in the liquid. This is the convection. And also the radiation method from the sun to us. Sun and earth are they not in touch because heat will be radiated through. So this is the in the radiated in the form of the electromagnetic heat waves are passing through from the coming from the sun and reaching the earth. So this is where the heat will be transpired like this. So three methods of heat can transpire are the conduction, convection and the radiation. So the heat conductions are depending on the temperature, temperature difference, area, length, and the species of heat capacity. The species heat capacity can be calculated. The quantity of the heat energy required to raise the temperature of the one kilogram of the material to the one degree uh, Kelvin. So this is the specific heat and uh, capacity uh, uh, definition. The yeah, unit of the specific heat capacity is a kilo joule per kilogram Kelvin. Temperature in the system depends on the mass, specific heat capacity, and the quantity of the heat energy. So the the you equal to mc th minus dc. So this equation that we have to the calculate the formula. Messi mass are heated efficiency. Heated efficiency is a percentage and equal to what output divided by what input into 100. So percentage efficiency, percentage efficiency, what output, output energy joule, what input, input energy joule. If you equal to mc, th minus dc, if you the quantity of heat, joule, and the th minus dc, change in the temperature, d Kelvin on degree centigrade, m is a mass. See the specific heat capacity, joule kilogram per Kelvin. When you determine the heat required to heat the one liter of the water, one kilogram from the when it is integrated to volume by 100 degrees centigrade, we have to calculate. So in this case, uh, we uh, find out the equation. So if you go to MCTH minus TC, the so 1 kilogram into 4 by 2, TH is 100, TC is 20, so you got the 4 by 2, so that's where we call the joule. And also, the, a block of the compound with the mass of the 2 kilogram has a kilo joule, has a 10 kilo joule of the heat at the, the initial temperature of the block was at 20 degrees centigrade, determine the final temperature. So the C cop by 390, so the W equal to MC delta the equation, so W is a 10 to the power 3, 2 kilogram, C is a 390, TH minus TC. So the index is TC 20, so that we transport this equation, so that we calculate it, so that we got 32 by H at degrees centigrade. And the next one is a determine the heat required to heat the 0.75 liter of the water in the aluminium saucepan with the mass of the 0.25 kilogram from the 20 degrees centigrade to 0.100 degrees centigrade. So in this case, uh, we have to assume the heat loss to be the zero. In this case, uh, saucepan, uh, surface heat capacity of 400, 900, so that in this case, you get 0.25 into 900 into 100 minus 20, you got the 18 kilojoules. So this is the way we calculate that. The next one is a percentage of uh, uh, heat efficiency is a the W by the W in. So that equates the problem is a 240 volts or uh, 240 volt, C and B are just a uh, raise at temperature of the 500 gram of the water from the 20 degrees centigrade to 70 degrees centigrade in the five minutes. We need to calculate the efficiency of the charge. So in this case, the W is the MC delta D. Mass is a 500 by 1000. So keep the is the chain to the kilogram. 
see the 4 by 2, delta t is 70 minus 20 is equal to 100 kilojoule. What input is a VIT? Body, current and the time. Body, 2 body, current and sit. Time is a 5 minutes of 5. And you say sleep, you call it 4, that is 2 kilojoules. Therefore, the W out of the W in, to 100 of the 4, that is 2, and to 100, you call it 21%. The next one is a 5250 uh, grams of 60 watt per bar solar in, uh, raise the temperature from the 25 D centigrade to the 125 D centigrade in the 4 by 5 minutes. We need to calculate the efficiency of the iron. So in this copper, uh, so the heat capacity 390, so the QI is a MC delta D. So my is a 250 grams, 250 grams, 1000, and C is a 390. Uh, 125 minus 25, so you got that 497 uh, joule. The two is a VID, body value and by time, or the power value by time. So in this case, uh, the power is given the 60 watts, so the 60 substitute. Time is a uh, 4, 4 by 5 minutes, 4 by 5 minutes, 60, you got that 1 say 2 0 0 joule. So the W out by the W in, so 9750 divided by 1 say 2 0 0, you got a 60%. The next product is electric jet is has an efficiency of 84 percent and the raise the temperature of the 2,000 milliliter of the water from 50 degrees centigrade to 90 degrees centigrade in the 6 minutes of 40 seconds. We have to calculate the power input. So the therefore the W I to MC delta T. So mass is equal to the 2,000 milliliter of 2,000 by 1,000 and C is a 4 by 2 and then for 90 minus uh, uh, 15 so therefore we have 600 kilo do we calculate that. Then we we'll also find out the efficiency 84 percent. So efficiency 84 percent. So the output power is 600 divided by 84. So 714.2 kilojoule we got. Then the you go to P divided by T. So 714 and power is unknown. Time is a 60 minutes or 40 seconds. The same by 60 plus 40. Then you got the 400. So we calculate the power equal to 1.785 kilowatt. We calculate that. The next problem is a uh, consider the 2.5 millimeter square single conductor which has a resistance of 9 ohm. Uh, the length is a 1 bar kilometer at the 25 degrees centigrade. The current carrying, carrying capacity in air is a AS and S3000. In the KVA is given, so this is about the 25 MBR. And KVA is a C5 is a 25 MBR. So in this case, we have to calculate the produce energy. So in this case, uh, the view group I square RT. So I is current, R resistance T is time. So the current is a 25 substitute, resistance is 9, and the time is one second. You got the 95625. So we calculate that. So this is the one we calculate. The same given from the above program is installed in a partially scounded atomic insulation. Cannot carry the same current. So the current can be from the capacity C5 only the 20 MBR. Where to calculate the heat energy produced. So therefore, the, in this case, uh, we calculate the for the heat energy. The due to I square RD is so you substitute I square to R into T. So the I is a 20, R9, and the T is a 1. Uh, second, you call that 360, you will calculate it. And now it's a heat and the key base. Uh, Electric cable. The amount of heat energy developed in the cable will depend on the conductor data resistance and the current carries by the cable for a period of time. So here is a continuously uh, produced when ever uh, the cables are uh, find the uh, the cables are uh, carries a current and the mass escape of the cable can be charged rise. So the in this case uh, excessive can be charged with uh, cause uh, aging. In the light of the insulation, and in this event, cause the melting. So that most of the PVA cables are the designed to operate normally at the normal temperature. So this is the ways of how the things are here and temperature cables. So we have to only allow the regular current in the cable. When the temperature is too high, current is higher, 
In this case, it will damage the given insulation. Therefore, that we also have to depend on the normal temperature, nominal temperature. We allow the uh, given to operate at a nominal temperature. So that in this case, on ambient temperature, we usually base uh, uh, 40 degrees centigrade. And next issue we are you can talk about the reverse circuit is air conditioning operation. So here you got the compressor, expansion bar, evaporator, heat exchange pipe, and also the two fan. So this is the construction of the reverse circuit is air conditioner, compressor here, this is the condenser coin, reject the heat, expansion bar, so this is evaporator coin, it's all the heat. As well as heat and then compress and then reject the heat. So this is the air condition as a the expansion bar is a cool as a refrigerator. So this is the ways that we can use it. In this case, we can also see that a cooling cycle. The compressor pan the compressed vapor refrigerant gas, they raise a refrigerant pressure and the temperature. Heat exchanging condenser coil is anticipated heat. And then the liquid refrigerant uh, flow into the expansion bar. The high temperature zone to low temperature zone is expand to the vapor. The vapor as all the heat making the evaporated coin cool. The fan blow the evaporated coin and cool air in the room. So this is the way of uh, air conditioner cooling system, the construction of the reverse uh, circuit air conditioner. The heating circuit is a reverse circuit air conditioner has a different component. That allow the flow and the revision to be uh, reverse. The evaporator coil becomes an auto coil absorbing the airflow provided from the outside air. The heated vapor is a uh, compressed and the power heated at the high temperature as it passes through the compressor. Pass into the condenser coil, which is uh, now in the indoor coil. The indoor fan draws and uh, blows the air over hot condenser coil before returning the heated air into the room. So this is the way. So another thing is that two phase are stoke connection. Let me still call it 220 volt to 200 volt. So this is the upright range. The connection is uh, here. So line one, L1, L1 connected to line one, L2 connected to line two, and connected to the R. So this is the electric stoke connection. So this is the electric uh, connection. And also the here is a heat based equipment may open R element. Hub laying is a a1, A2, so this is the connector here, so this is the wrist resistor. So this is the connection of the semester. Semester is a two hour semester, this is for the line, and this is the neutral, and this is a pilot connection, so the pilot line, and this is the electric plate, so this is a semester connection. Which terminals are indication for the controls are or semester? In this case, I is a red power supply transformer. The means of white heating controls are relay, white yellow cooling control, and then G is a green for the fan relay control, and O is an orange and cooling damper, B is a brown heating damper, B is a uh, metal function that light, B is a heat bar, and Z is a, a low body fan switch. So this is the uh, component of the same master. Describe the effect of the change in the semester setting from the low to higher. So that in this case, the energy regulator control the current flow, change the biometric strip. It is a change in the operation of the thermostat. If you change the biometric strip of Benny, it will change the operation of the semester. Explain why it is necessary to supply the full subvolate. In this case, full function of the operation to be attained. Explain why the supply was uh, not required to be connected to test and thermostat because of the evolve with the temperature. So, as is, an, is it necessary to bridge uh, any safety devices on the hot water service to give the hot water on temperature uh, basis? So, this is no. So, describe the effect of the change in the semester setting from low to high. So, in this case, the energy regulator control the current flow, change the by metastry bending, it changed as our operation of the temp thermostat. So list of three are primary service of the data. That's what we contain, consider before uh, what begins on the hot water survey. In this case, we have to concern about the heat, electrocution, and mechanical stress. 
A replacement uh, must be uh, inspected. Replacement uh, element must be inspected for the physical appearance and the system. The minimum insulation resistance for the heated die element is a 501 mag O. It's follow the AS and SSR 3218 addition uh, cross at 8316. The evacuation is made out of the four individual cells connected in series. Each cell has an open circuit dominant body tubo in an SN.1870 and can supply a maximum current 5 MBR, determine the open circuit dominant body of battery, maximum the output current of battery. In this case, uh, E to the number of cells multiplied by E cell body so 4 minus 2 is 8 volt. I maximum output is I maximum on the cell, so this is because the 5 MBR, milli MBR. If the is a 90% efficient and deliver the current of 20 MBR over a 6 hour period, calculate the current necessary to recharge the battery in 10 hours. So in this case, MBR hour, I am blue hour, so the 20 MBR is 6, 72 MBR hour. MBR hour input, MBR hour output by the percentage N, so 72 by 9, you got an 80 MBR hour. So the I is a 80 MBR hour divided by the time, so you got an 8 MBR you got. Here is a uh, plan where the weekends are place a but by us as a lamp, we can place it like this. So this is that we can put into the alleyway or near the pedal. We can put into the, uh, we cannot put the door in the kitchen. So this is a connection on the supply neutral link. So this connection, this connection is, a, this is the connection of the Circuit breaker, dual element of big water heater system. This is the dual element of big water heater system. The connection, this connection show the dual element of big water heater system. So this is a connection of dual element of big water system, heater system. Okay, this is the way that we explain about the water heater, heat and the water system. And what does this sound we explain about? Then we also talking about the water heater operation. The water heater operation is a water heater divide into the instantaneous water heater or the slowly water heater. The classification depending on the usage and the target rating. So is we include a continuous water heater or the control load of the or the restricted hour water heater. So in the instantaneous water heaters are the water heated on the demand in the north stove. It requires a high power input designated to design it to the deliver the steam only on demand when hot water is required. So this is for the operation of the hot water heater system. So this is the construction. In this case are uh, Construction include a copper container, 0.8 liter capacity, use a diaphragm flow switch to automatically connect the supply, element radius is 80 MBR phase. So this is a connection, uh, construction of the uh, three-way heater, uh, hot water system. So this is hot water system. For the uh, outlet, this is heating coil, this is the uh, cool water input, and this is the electric supply. So this is also three-way water can be, uh, heater can be designed. So the disadvantage uh, cannot uh, efficiently uh, supply more than the one tech at a time, fit in small area of the whole unit. Some of uh, 50 liter storage are uh, available to fit in the couple. They connected as a in the instantaneous quick recovery water heater. So water heater type consists of the inner water container. It's included heat exchanger from the outer metal casing you reduce the heat dissipation losses. Why that can be the elements are placed into the side of the inner tank towards the bottom of the tank. So it can control it by the thermostat. 
So this is what the uh, controls the diagram, how water input here. That's the capacity uh, heaters are used to supply the multiple point with the hot water, why the smaller types uh, storage units may be installed as there's a in the bath heater. So in this case, uh, here is the solar water heater so the sun coming here. So sun energy can be absorbed in the heat exchange and also hot water to cool water to hot water, heat can be exchanged. So the solar storage water heater is a diagram is here. So the storage water heater classification of the continuous water heater controls are open and the restricted our water heater. So additional heating element boosts the element. So this is about the cool bathroom kitchen laundry, hot and cool. And then so the additional heating elements are boosts the heating. So this is the storage water heater dice. And this is roof mounts are roof mounted displacement ties water heater. Water is fed into the bottom of the low pressure heating tank to the dissipate the hot water drawn from the top. The main disadvantage of the D system is that they are able to produce a high demand area. So this is a uh, room mounted as uh, water heater system. So in this case, uh, this is a room mounted and this is a bathroom kitchen, lobby, water can be take out, taken out. So the gravity fish system is lower in the tank, allow the hot water to drone to the this level at the uh, factory fast rate. Cool water is uh, prevented from the entering tank by the solenoid and the heating uh, circuit command. So that the protection is uh, installed with the overflow tray Heating tank are vented at the atmosphere and to prevent the pressure damage. So here we is a, a main pressure type. So this is no free tank. Continue flow the water from the connected to the water ma maximum. And also the operating at the full major pressure or operating at the maximum medium pressure. Booster heating element is a connected at the near the top of the cylinder and robust shock control operation included. So this is the top thermostat. So I would say that Jules are element tank should be set at the 10 degrees centigrade lower than the bottom element. This is the bottom element, top element. So that the setting is included. So this is the top element is must be set at the 10 degrees centigrade lower than the bottom element. So here are NO, there's a there's an outlet, temperature pressure ready bar and booster heating unit. And this is the base inflation inlet and the insulated water thermostat at the with So they are components of the water heater. So those water heaters are connected to the water pipeline, water heater, relief pressure, drain. They are connected like this. And also the relief pipe are has to utilize and the multi bed storage tanks are connected here. Entrance of safety devices are the essential part of the system to operate the safety. All the unvented storage water heater must be fitted with the entrance of big in safety device. They include the thermostat, over pressure relief bar, now the cells are resetting over the temperature cutoffs. Replacement has to follow when the replacing any safety device only approved device should be utilized. When the water pressure in the main is too high, a pressure reducing bar should be fitted by the plumber. Cool water is very wide fitted to the cool water inlet and is set to drip continuously uh, during the heating cycle. So this is what then we do. So the Solar water heating system is the heating of water in the wine climate. They are affected by the tree shaded dust, frost, and the wind. So this room mounted our water heater system is the components of the tank and the solar panel. So when you apply the double siphon down principle, water heated in the collector flow, the upper part of the slurry tank, is replaced by the cooler water from the bottom of the tank. So the extra the structure timber is exposing the weight and non corrosive are heat transfer liquid flow into the solar collector, then heat, uh, heating the exchange yard, heat the exchange yard. So the heat energy transfer from the water. In this case, we use the blessed uh, promise of markets uh, is utilized. So here is a uh, construction of the solar water system, solar water bottom element, anode, steel, uh, heat absorbing panel, insulation. Hmm. So here is a split system. Three systems are construction. So in this case, this is for the expansion bar, receiver, compressor, water tank, and evaporator. Uh, they are components of the three system. So the, the components can be the storage tank at the uh, ground level, 
solar cholera is connected at the top. The additional dis distance between the two units prevent the thermosiphon principle from the working. The modern carbon pumps are the cyclic that go out from the bottom of the tank to the solar cholera panels on the roofs. So the first is heated and the circulated each, of, each to the top of the tank. A thermostatic control on the pump water prevents the water from being circulated until the water in the collector is hotter than the water in the tank. The booster heating element is uh, fitted to all of the solar heating system when the insufficient solar energy is available. So that it can also be manually operated. Thermostat function down all the supply reset the system to solar the operation. So the heat pass up principle is another type is smaller to the refrigeration and the air conditioning system. Calling and transfer up to three types of energy used by the motor to drive the compressor. So it operates with or without sun, absorb the heat from the outside even at the night. So this is the ways that we calculated. So this is a heat pass up operation system. So here you have compressor, filter, driving, evaporator, expansion valve, vapor tank, insulation and condenser coil, so hot water outlet in the system. This is the heat pipe we keep the light like this. So in this case, this is the compressed system. It is a heat pump circuit. A compressor is used to compress a cool, low pressure refrigerant gas. This gas pass through the condenser coil. It is a heat exchanger, or it pass through the heat from the gas to water in the tank. During the, this process, hot gas are condensed the the big ones are high pressure liquids, uh, which then are passed to the evaporator, where the pressure is regulated from the sun air. So in this case, evaporation point is 30 degrees centigrade. So then we also utilize a office water system to so control load. Control load and the switch the switch goes are requirement. Control load is a load that is a resistant to the receiving the supply by the electricity distributor to certain hours of the day or the night. Always demand loads and it says always demands load and it says such is such are that you usually are restricted to the relieving the receiving the supply. And the demand on a system is low. So the every demand loads, every demand loads and as such are usually restricted to receiving the supply and the demand on a supply system is low. So low control devices are the plug, those are control devices and the lighting low control system. Every customers are the estimated in the service in the installation room. The type of the device to be used for the any particular job will be specified or the supply by the supply authority. So to be the time with the uh, current metering requirement. So the receiver requirement is a 750 hertz to 1050 hertz. They are the supply frequency or the 50 hertz is the over frequency release operated. The connection the receiver are the wire in the city and the install downstream of the kilowatt hour meter. So the measure the control load. So the operation is a contact open when the no triggering are signal. When the control goes, when the trigger signal receive control, contact will be closed so that no current flow to the load. So the contractors to determining there's a load control and also time cloud is a control that uh, switch. So at this is uh, at this place uh, we are talking about the water heater system. Also the we're talking about the uh target system. So the electronic metering is uh, we utilize electronic metering. So there will be the it measure the energy use. It measures the maximum demand, power factor, active power, and reactive power. So the first target, second target, and specification, they are included. And the current meter device is 100 MBI is element 1, 25 MBI is element 2. So this is for the whole water, so how the current is flowing. And we also 
include as our program level operation. How our operation is a direct one is at 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Direct two is a should be the energy demand by restricted period generally not exceeding a 72 hour and any period of the 24 hour. So this is a rule to the supply. Also that we also include the offloads are control devices, the water storage capacity, all the element power rating and specific operations are element arrangement, they are the affecting the offloads are control devices. Eco most are domestic storage unit for the continuous data supply is a 4 by 2 80 liter heater. Uh, having a recovery rate of 70 liter per hour for the 40 degree centigrade. Continuous rates are required. No special tariffs as usual. Power rating are the such that a space of finance such a case necessary. So this is the connection of the uh, robot show that the most connection. So the robot show that most uh, connection is here. This is what the control loads are connection. Uh, that's a piece of the most connection. So also this is the robot show top element, how the top element connected and also the control load. So this connection will be the, uh, based on the those information, robot show the most step, bottom element, top element, we can draw it as circuit. This circuit is a connection of the robot show the most step, top and the bottom element. So this is a connection of the uh, robot show the most step and top and bottom element connection. So today's uh, electrical trade tool, I have explained you about the water heater and the uh, operation of the water heater and also the control of the different uh, water heater system and the tariff system we are explaining. So this is what the uh, trade tool is uh, completed for today and also the electrical workshop for trade one, workshop practice three. So today lesson is how we are talking about the illumination. The illumination is uh, based on the light. Light is a kind of the electromagnetic energy. So it travel with the speed 3 multiplied 10 power 5 kilometer per second. So light can be the deflected or the distorted. Here it says our frequency range. So this is for the uh, frequency range and the wavelength of the uh, electromagnetic wave. So the between the ray of uh, this ray, uh, it will be visible. So this is the visible ray. So the, about the 10 power 50, the speed, that ray is uh, the frequency of uh, 10 power 15 hertz. So that range, uh, you can see the light. So light can be uh, depending on the frequency's uh, value. So it can be a uh, wavelength nanometer. Depending on the wavelength in nanometer, it can be like red, yellow, violet, like this. So the above the uh, gray, so this is about the 400 nanometer. Red is a 700 nanometer, and the, and violet. So this is for the electromagnetic spectrum or the light. So between this range, you can see the light. Then we are talking about the luminous intensity. Luminous uh, intensity and luminous plus uh, calculations are uh, formula. So this is the lighting times and the unit. Luminous plus a uh, unit is a lumen, the symbol is a F. A luminant is a unit is a lux or the LH, symbol is a E. Luminous intensity a candela CD, symbol is a symbol is a I. A luminant is a candela per square meter. So C D per meter square and U symbol is a L. So 75 watts are in condition that is given the 900 lumen and 349 watts of plus and then is given out the 3500 lumen and 250 watt high pressure sodium that is given the 30,000 lumen. So this is the kind of the lens and they are uh, illumination level. So luminous intensity can be calculated as one candle produce a, a lumina plus and one lumen on the one square meter at a density of the one meter. So the one candela means it produces a lumina plus one lumen on the one square meter at a density of the one meter. 
So this is the luminous efficiency the calculation. From here, I buy is a producing the light power. So that when you provide the electric gas sub connected to the electric gas power, so light producing the uh, light power. So this is we call the luminance. Luminance. So the ratio of the luminous plus to electric gas power input is uh, this is the efficiency n. So n equal to FIP. So in this case, uh, n is a luminous efficiency. Remember what? F is a luminous plus lumen and a PSA input power. So this is the ratio between the how much a luminous plus can be produced by providing the input power. So the light rays can impact and reflect from the square surface. This is a specula. And here is a diffuse and here is a spread. So depending on the reflection, we can get this as specula, diffuse or spread. Spread. So we also saw the one problem. A light source are produce a luminous plus on the 1,000 lumen. If all the produce lights fall onto the surface, having a surface area of 10 square meter determine the luminous on the surface. So in this case, uh, the produce and total plus is a 1,000 lumen area of 10 meter square. We have to calculate the uh, E. So E is going to F by E. So 1,000 divided by 10, you got 100 lux. A room with a flow measuring 3 meter by 5 meter is to be uh, lived with the aluminum or the 200 lux. A square is uh, so rich the flow, we need to calculate the necessary uh, lumina plus to achieve this. So in this case, our uh, flow area is 3 into 5, so the 10, 15 meter square e is uh, 200 lux. So the E equal to F by A, so the F equal to E multiplied by A. In this case, E is a 200, F is a 15, so you call that 3000 lumen, we can calculate that. So here we can calculate the sunlight. So here, this is the area. So that is a luminous plus. Then we can calculate the candela. Here is a, uh, all the lights are four on the surface area A equal to F by A. And here is a, the distance. The distance the D, this is the area. So in this case, uh, the E equal to I by D square. So if the, this one is a, the directly perpendicular, but the, if the angle theta here, so E equal to I by D square cos theta. So this is the way we calculate the equation. We need to calculate the illumination on the surface. There is a 3 meter distance from the 200 candle light source. So in this case, e equal to I by D square. So the 200 candle light is I 200. D is a 3 to 3 square. So the 200 divided by 3 square is equal to 22 by 2 lux. And also that we also need to calculate the 2500 candle light source. And mounted in a 4 meter above the flow. So there are 200, 500 candle lights of 4 meter above the flow. We need to calculate illumination on the flow directly below the light and a point on the flow 3 meter distance from this uh, 3 meter distance. So we also have to calculate the uh, illumination E. So the, uh, for the direct, uh, direct perpendicular, E equal to I by D square. So in this case, I is a 2,500, D is a uh, 4 square. So you call that when you, know, you can calculate this one. And then also that this angle B I need to calculate that. So that this is the opposite side 3 meter and adjacent side 4 meter. So then the line 3 by 4. So the line tension in bar of 3 by 4, you got that that is 6 by 8. So the I equal to E equal to I by D square cos theta. So that's 200 500 by 4 square. And of course that is 6 by 8. So you got that, that 10 lakhs you can calculate that. So the question answer what material is used to use for the filament of the incandescent lamp and name the three basic types of the reflector. What is the efficiency of the following light source? High pressure market vapor. Give the definition of the maintenance mode operation of the emergency luminance. Typically, frozen lighting is not used for the illumination with the mounting height so greater than the 6 meter. The high base are fitting that has the appropriate uh, beam spread at the 46 to 60 is a classified as a uh, medium spread are fitting. So in this case, light is a mix of the tungsten, and there are there are three uh, suppression, specular, diffusion spread, and mercury vapor is a 
given that that is due to season 3 luminance power watts then it's a uh, operators are typically uh, then it's the uh, operators binders are uh, supply and it continues to operate on the battery supply so this is a uh, maintenance mode Here is a, this is the illumination classes, illumination classes, and also that they are uh, angle degree. So this is also you can see it. Okay, we are talking about the this is for the kind of the illumination. And this table show show the high density luminous class, and they are separation. Uh, how how much the bread and what will be the angle so they, they are there where you can see it okay we are talking about the luminous luminous are the designer to support and provide the means of the electrical connection to the lamps and to distribute the light produced by the lamp in the most effective manner to the to this uh task area so that's all this uh, task to perform is a lamp luminous plus and possession of task area and recommended task illuminance and a visual comfort. Those are the tasks to perform. And also there are with the direct, direct instance that 90 to 100 percent of the light is a direct from the source and 0 to 10 percent of uh, light receives is reflected from the source. So this is the direct uh, lighting system. CV direct means that 10 to 40 percent of the light the receive is a direct from the source and 60 to 90 percent of the sea light is reflected from the surface. This, this is the indirect. 0 to the 10 percent of light receive is a direct from the soul, and the 90 to the 100 percent of the sea light is reflected from the surface. So this is a kind of this are direct, indirect, and the indirect, and the CB indirect. So the kind of the system, and uh, how much light it produces, how much will be received. Here we are talking about the shielding angle. They get between the horizontal and the, the line on the side at which at any point of the high luminance on the lens and luminance began a visible. So this is light here, this is light fitting, and this is light shielding. This angle is a light shielding angle. Light here, light fitting, light shielding angle. The angle between the horizontal and the line on the side at which at any point of the high luminance on the lens and the luminance began a visible. So this is for the illumination design. When you this is illumination design system. So light beam is present, so that depending on the uh, angle, this is where well, beam will be separate like this. So this is light here, this is angle. So that we can draw the illumination and the angle, we can get the light. So this is the beam on the spectrum. Beam on the spectrum is uh, the angle in the plane through the beam axis over which the luminous intensity draws to the stated value or the F3 value. So usually these are 5 to be percent or the 10 percent. So this is approximately to the AS list 1680. So this is the grey control method that need to be utilized. Here is a illumination design. The lumen method we can calculate n equal to E A divided by N F and F into U F. N is a number of the luminous require. E is a require a luminous plus lux and area. M is a number of length for the luminous and F is a length lumen output lumen and M is a maintenance factor. In this case, maintenance factor depending on the task of the agent of light bar and the cleaning rooms are surface. You have a utilization factor. Uh, this is the functional luminous properties and the wrong geometry. So in this case, uh, we can also cause uh, calculate the low wrong index. Wrong index K can be calculated LW divided by L divided by W into HN. In this case, uh, like L is a length of the row, the view is a width of the row. H and is mounting head, mounting height. So this is made enough that I need to be given from the program.
Okay, we calculate this problem. A generator open plan of it has a dimension 20 multiply 8 by 5 by 5 2 by 8 meter. And the, the required, required luminance is a 330 lux. The reflectance of the ceiling is known to be the 0.7 and the reflectance of the wall is a 0.5. The wall area depths are at the height of the 0.8 meter. The luminance are the 22 with the each juice. Uh, being at 36 watts and daylight, 2850 lumen, dry, in the light, uh, tied with this uh, UF feather. So here is a table here, this is a reflector, as a long in this table here. So this is a uh, light. So this is for the wrong reflector's value. Reflector value is, so this CWF is given here, so there is a 0.7 and the 0.5, uh, the, the reflector value. And also the, the table here, you can see the wrong uh, in this pattern. So this is a 2 by 5 is a 0.55. So this is a wrong in this pattern. In this case, C is a ceiling reflector, the gives a wall reflector and the edge is a flow reflector. So ceiling wall flow. So the 0 0.7, 0 0.5. So this value is given. This is wrong in this case. Depending on the wrong in this case, uh, this way can be also be able to calculate the reflector value. So the first is a we calculate that for the K value. K value is a LW by L by W to HN. So 12 to 8 by 5, 12 plus 8 by 5 to 2, so you call it 2 by 5. The utilization factor is a 0.55, C is a 0.7, W 0.5, and a K 2 by 5. So those things are you can get for C, W, and a K value. You can get from this table. Depending on the row index, you can get a C, W, and a K value. So the then are you substitute in this formula. And we're going to E divided by NF and F into UF. So in this case, E is a 320 last A is a 12 multiplied by 8 by 5. F is a 2850. MF is a 0.8. UF is 0.55. So from here, uh, those things are we can calculate that. UF is a, this is our UF value calculation. This is the 0.55 depending on the row value. CWF value and we can calculate the uh, UF value from this table. So this one uh, you have to calculate that. And after that you substitute this formula. So that this formula you substitute, you got the A is a 13.01. In this case, uh 13.01 is uh, we can select the 14 or 15. And 14, if you select the 14, two row, each row called the seven line. If you select the 15, uh, you have to use a three row and the each call the each row call this are five lines. So this is the way we start uh, calculate that. So that will also be the we calculate all the wrong ratio method. Now the uh, row is a A, which of the row is B, mounting high A. In this case, wrong ratio can be calculated AB by H into A plus B. In this case, a wrong index method is a different like wrong ratio method. This is the English and USA system. So if you got the, the, the wrong ratio method, you can uh, select the E, A, B, C, D, and this is the wrong ratio value. And this is what the, we also this table is an aluminum utilization factor C. So depending on the reflection factor of the ceiling and also row index, depending on the reflection factor, you uh, uh you can uh, calculate the utilization factor. Here is a Reflectors are refreshing for the 75 percent, 50 percent, 30 percent. So this is refreshing uh, factor of the wall, 50, 30, 10, like this, and this is row index. So from here, the row index and the, the refreshing factor, you can start calculate the utilization factor value. So N is a E, F, C, N, the value. Here I calculate it. E is an illuminant. Uh, a is an area as a light output. So this is number of light multiply each light output. And it's a maintenance factor and CS utilization factor. So this formula you can start to calculate. You can calculate the number of this uh, maintenance factor. Okay, so this, this problem we have to calculate the design the design the illumination. Design the illumination for a classroom. The length is a six meter and which Design the illumination for the classroom 10 meter long and 6 meter wide. Ceiling height 3 meter. The ceiling painted with the white, so in this case, refreshing factor is 75%. The wall are painted with, this, uh, with the color. So, having such a refreshing factor is 50%, 250 light is to be taken. 
So in this case, uh, uh, for the classroom, you have to utilize a 250 lab. So this is what classroom the standards are illumination theta. And we have to use as a twin flask and lab producing the 3000 human each lab. So what area I usually is uh, at the point A beta. So in this case, uh, we calculate the mounting height is a 3 multiply uh, point A. So the 2.2 meter. So A is a 2.2. Because of the total size ceiling height is 3 meter. And what area is point A meter? So 3 minus point A, you got a 2.2. A is equal to 2.2. It is a length of the row is at uh, 10 meter. And which of the row is 6 meter. So that we substitute in uh, this formula. Row A is a A B divided by H uh, into A plus B. So 10 minus by 6, 2 by 2 into 10 plus 6, you got it 1 by 7. So the from the table row ratio one by seven row A is E because of the this table you utilize. This is a row ratio is a one by seven. One by seven. So the row index are this table. Row ratio one by seven. So row index is E. Row index you can calculate the E. So the utilization factor is a point four two, and then maintenance factor is point eight. Maintenance for that, you have to assume the point A. So, you guys see for that, and also the maintenance for that, you can calculate that. So, you guys see for that, is that you can calculate from the disk table. From here, you flat the value and row index, then you can calculate the utilization for that. Depending on you flat the value and the row index, you can get from the this from the display table, you can calculate the utilization factor. So the utilization factor here we calculate is a uh, this is a reflection factor. So this is a reflection factor value here, the row index. So reflection factor is a 50%. Row is a E. So this table you got the utilization factor is 0.42. So this table you get the from here you got the utilization factor. So the therefore that you substitute the utilization factor is 0.42. And substitute here. Then, based on the different value we are, you can substitute here. So E is at the 2 to B, A is at 10 divided by 6, F is at 6 down there. You can visit for that C, point four two and number A is point eight. Then you got the point seven by three or 8. So in this case, uh, A row, so that uh, we can arrange a 2 row, and every row got the uh, 4 unit. So that will be the uh, arrangement. So today is uh, we talking about the uh, emergencies. Uh, this is uh, uh, we talking about the lighting system. Listen. Then we can talking about the trade too. And let's get into the trade practice. Okay, so replicates are in the type trade practice to We are talking about the connection of the low release and the tight cloud. So if you uh, connect this uh, low release and tight cloud, uh, this is the arrangement. Single element hot water unit. So this is all the low control devices are wired on the main switch board after the kilowatt hour meter. This is a install is a measure the energy usage of the control load. The load must not exceed the 25 MBR. So here is a, a supply point and a service view. This is a do domestic uh, rate meter and here base way and connected to the load. And here is connected to the OP meter, OP control system, base way and connected to hot water. So here is a serving you can and a consumer you can link. So this is the arrangement of the single element hot water unit and connected to the domestic rate and base way and also OP meter, OP control, base way system. So this is the US elements of hot water unit. 
Komoni Rafa do as a twin element, the Hawada unit of Waya the main heating element, who is a bottom element to be connected to the low control device. The top element, the top element is a Rafa to as an auxiliary booster element, is still connected to the low tariff, but the not controlled by the control device. This element has a continuous supply to it and it's a wire from the left side of the control devices. So this is called the connection. Serving you here, domestic meter and a base weight. Here is a serving you can consume you can open meter and also connect to the hot water of the control and connect to the base weight. So this is the light diagram of the basic equipment arrangement of the USR element. So this is a element, a connection the line diagram. So here we can see the connection of the low electronic retarding. So electronic retard is programmable. And this is also the vast array of the feature and the retarding configuration. So this is the uh, standard domestic or the controllers are retarding system. So in this case, are the, this is a line diagram. So this line diagram is a connection for the single free and the off retarding. So single bit tariffs are we supply the main switch for the light and the power circuit and off with tariff we supply the two post main switch for the twin element hot water unit. So this is for the connection of the single element of so here connection diagram, main switch and uh, main switch control, light power, service view, service uh, uh, this is connection. Connection of the electronic uh, tariff and connection of the single phase in the office data system. So this, so this is the connection diagram. Now we are talking about the hot water data. The supply authority uh, distribute the electrical energy to hot water system and other suitable hidden load in a number of service, numerous service rates. Continuous energy available is 24 hour by 3. Controls are continuous or register hour. Uh, controls are continuous meaning restricted hour or the extended or peak. Is supplies available for the two hour of our days or not available for the morning and the evening peaks? Or rate is 10 to 8 to 10 hours per day. This is between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. Time of the use, uh, TOU, where the energy charge at the varying rate dependent up on the time of the day is used energy uh, at the peak time of the days are uh, charged at the higher rates compared to the energy used at the lower demand times of the day. So this is as a water hidden tariff checklist. The water storage capacity you need to check, water storage capacity for the connection or the starting tariff or the what are the supply authority regulation and uh, reading element, current power reading, and uh, are there uh, any restriction or the regarding the non simultaneous operation or the multi base element units such as the peak and the booster element. What is the specific operation measurements are required? So those are the you have to check for the target system. So common domestic are storage units for continuous target supply. Common domestic storage unit for continuous target supply is a 4 by 8 kW, 80 liters heating heaven in a recovery rate over 70 liters per hour for the 40 degree centigrade temperature rise. So the quotidian rates are required in no special tariffs, but the usual power rating are the such that the supplies are finite such as are necessary. So this is the common domestic storage uh, units and the quotidian tariffs are system relationship. So the storage for the storage system or for the OP rate, so the end is to make the local requirement, is a storage capacity is uh, adequate. Some supply authority will not supply the solar hot water system at the OP rates. So here we use it as a, a continuous control uh, storage water heater uh, fitted with the booster element. So the, this is a, we use it as a Uretaris heater. Lower element is the main element. Uh, this is we supply at the OP rate and the OP is a meter in. Top element is the booster element. So this is a, we are supplying at the normal rate controlled by the consumer main switch. To reduce the demand, and interlock arrangements may be required between the two elements to prevent them being on the supply simultaneously. This is a PV top and a, uh, lower element. We have to utilize the uh, appropriate uh, interlock uh, device because of the top lower element is uh, subject to the OB rate and the OB meter rate. Top element is a booster element, is a normal rate, controlled by the consumer main supply. 
So they, now this is why the two reduce at the man they interrupt the arrangement. Maybe requires between the two elements to prevent them thin on the supply simultaneously. So this is usually incorporated into the thermostat or the story heater unit. So we allocate the thermostat, we put the thermostat in the story heater unit to the interlock the lower element and the top element. So the dual elements are 24 hour office resistor. So it requires the interlock, minimum capacity storage that is in relation to the side of the household. Top thermostat is the tan on the heat at the top of the tank. If the cool water level rise to the top one. Most elements are the two of the office meter. Only bottom element control office are controlled already. Two activities and then new press are must be run to to the unit from the switch board. So the you can commonly switch to the top button element by top thermostat to prevent a simultaneous operation on the both element. So this is a question and answer. So then, Give the location where the hot water unit isolated switch may be installed. The answer is that additional to the end is an automated switch incorporated in the heating structure or the install adjacent but not on the water heater. So the across the AS are 3000, 2018 the 4 by 8 by 2 by 3. How is the temperature of three feet instead of the water heater be controlled? So this is a control by the water flow. So this is a flow switch control. Simple flow switch control switch of the element to prevent the water overheating if the flow rate is required too much. Flow rate is reduced too much. And first safety devices are fitted to and the non vented storage are electric water heaters. This is a question. This is the answer is the temperature and the pressure relief valves are uh, installed. The question number four. How do these safety devices work to prevent the tank from the exploding? So the a safety device called the temperature and pressure relief is normally fitted on the top of the water heater to turn the water if the temperature pressure becomes up too high. And question number five, if one of the CV devices in the question three fail that temporary measure may be used to get the heat as an operation. So that that problem can be fixed by the plumber. Answer. And the question C is that under what condition may continuous supply type storage water heater be recommended as an optic storage water heater? This is the answer. The provider accepted and model can be used. And question 7. Compare the kilowatt rating for a typical three phase simultaneous water heater to that for the an OP storage heater and explain the need for the end, end is the difference. To answer is an instantaneous electric water heater typically requires the high power inputs, particularly if the more than one unit is running at once. And question number eight. What is the best location for the water heater in relation to the hot water outlet? It supply, especially if the outlets are spread through the installation. So this is the answer. By locating the heater close to the point of use, it will reduce the amount of the time to travel from the water heater to out outlet. And question number nine. What temperature setting range is recommended for the thermostat in the storage heater in domestic installation? Yeah, answer number nine. 
So in this case, are above 70 degrees centigrade, where do you, it can die instantly. 60 degrees centigrade, 90% die in 2 minutes, and 50 degrees centigrade, 40% die in 8 to 124 minutes. 48 to 80 is a can survive, does a not so multiply. So this is for the how to uh, control the bacteria with the temperature. And they are the two types of the system of the water heating, which are more efficient than the conventional electric storage water heater. So that can be the airs are through the heat pan or the 10 user uh, water heater system. And this is a question the what uh, advantage of the system in the question 10. So that the advantage of the system in the question 10 is uh, the main dis disadvantage associated with the air so the heat pans are this below. Lower the heat supply is compared to the oil and gas blower, so larger really the size is needed. They perform the better with the under the flow heating uh, and the one heating, one air heating and uh, works more efficiently. Work more efficiently when they cover with the larger radiator. radiator. So this is the, uh, they are the properties. So here is a, you can see there's a SEMA state a connection diagram. Connection of the SEMA step. And also the testing method saw so there's a SEMA step. So SEMA step is controlling the uh, heat of the system and also testing method. So this is the master connection, the master connection and the conductor and this is the master testing method, testing diagram. So the how do the design the master? Apply the small quantity of heat sink on the end of the digital thermometer probe and mount it on the large providing from the thermostat uh, side of the panel. Adjust the top thermostat to 65 degrees centigrade and bottom to 75 degrees centigrade. Turn on the supply. And we have to know which line is on. In the general heating uh, element is at top or the bottom or the turn on the switch. Controlling the element that is not on. This allows the operating element and thermostat to cycle on and off so that the temperature range of the operating thermostat can be monitored. So this is what the how to are arrange the uh, temperature range, so this is the master and uh, this is our connection diagram and this is the third method. This method is uh, how the uh, temperature range can be uh, monitored, operating thermostat can be monitored. So then you have to monitor the temperature of the heat sink and measure with the thermometer and which the thermostat down on and off. So this is what the temperature circuit down and off and also different degrees in the way. So this is also the this is a connection of the control di diagram. This is the element, and this is for the low uh, pylon light. So this is the uh, in the heater. You can see the test control. You can connect to the uh, control. Okay, electric gas are three tools. Are we talking about the heating, heating target, and uh, we are talking about the control method of the thermostat and the thermostat, and also the controls are question, uh, questions uh, answer related to the control and a connection of the water heater system. So then this is what the uh, trade do. Trade ones are electric air wash up. So today lesson, we talking about the electric air uh, engineer practice. So they, they are the question and answers. Describe the effect of changing the symmetry set, uh, setting from the low to high.
So the uh, regarding the electrical engineer practice, we are talking about the emergency system. So they are the emergency system for the uh, interactive based uh, power supply or uh, battery power UPS standby emergency order data. Those are the parts of the emergency system. So they are part of the emergency system. In the meantime, so another emergency system, fire protection, emergency lighting. So uh, in the radio power supply UPS, there are two kinds of UPS, online UPS and online UPS. Online UPS include the change over switch. So it switch to the main power, to UPS power, and online UPS is the emergency supply. The emergency supply is connected when the main power off only. So this is uh, connected to the emergency load uh, supply. So this is the connection of the uh, UBS system. So this is a connection of the UBS system, all right, UBS connection. This is body regulator, filter, battery charger, inverter system connected to load. So that the main to the battery chain over switch or the battery to main chain over time is typically the 3 to 8 milliseconds. So during the test time, the chain over is uh, not provided. So this is also the transfer switch. When the load failure is set and transfer, transfer switch set, connected to the main power load. And then also the all I UPS system is that he has started bypass switch. This is a you call the rectifier connected to the battery when the main power is off. And that also when the main power is off, the power is passing through the inverter and connected to load. So the normal supply system, the current flow to the ready wire to battery charging. And in the meantime, uh, from the inverter connected to low and steady bypass switch to low. So this is the connection of the main power uh, transfer system. When the main power free, the switch connected to battery and inverter connected, connected to the low. So this type of the UPS is a system that uh, remain the, on the battery when the main AC is present or not. When the main AC is present, it provides the power to the rectifier, which charge the battery. Simultaneously, provide the DC supply to the inverter that provide the main frequency and the voltage supply to the load. When the main power fails, the battery supply the load through the inverter. The system may be equipped with the switching of the non-essential load when main power fails. So this is the connection of the, uh, the stem uh, UPS system. So that we also have to sub explain the principal operation of online UBS. So this is the uh, diagram of the online UBS system. This is main power rectifier, battery bank, inverter, and low static bypass switch. So this transfer switch is the connected to the selection mode. When the online or offline is embedded, so that's the that kind of selection load is uh, included. So, so then when you send the set the offline, this is the monitor the system of main power supply. So that when the main power supply situation monitor and the main supply is on, so the transfer is on. The simplified block diagram on this system is showing the figure. In this type, in this type UPS, the system always remain on the battery whether main is present or not. When the main is present, it provides power to the fire which charge to the battery and simultaneously provide to the DC supply. So the two the inverter, when the main AC supply is not present, the battery provides the DC supply to the inverter. The chain over time is an online UPS is a zero because of the inverter session always on. Online UPS are the bulky and the are manufactured in a high capacity rating and used for the large and the very sensitive application like the computer server and medical supply. Because of the uh, computer server and medical supply, we might use an online uh, UPS system. So the, the UBS system largely use the battery, battery system. So the electric energy charge that are can be get and can be get energy. The uh, uh, charging die electric energy is uh, uh, converted to the can be get energy and uh, recharging die can be get energy uh, converted to the electric energy. So this is the, the charger is a connected so the electro can be get cell is a can be uh, recharged. So this is for the uh, primary cell. It cannot be recharged. This is a, uh, cannot be 
เกมนี้ดีใช่แต่สกันดีเซ่เกมนอร์มีดีใจแต่ปลายดีเซ่ตัวฮิยาวีนี่เดี๋ยวเราคอนเนคชั่นนอร์บริสิบริสิบไปออกไปเกมนี้เกมบริสเกมนี้เกมซาเซอร์ดิสิดิสิเอ็นโดดิสิซอบบีเอ็นดิสิเกดโดเอ็นดิสิเรคาร์เรฟลูดูเดฟคอนฟิอาดูฟิอาเฟียดิสิเนี่ยดิสโซลูชันเป็นดิสโซลูชั่นคอนเทนเนอร์อิเล็กโทรเพลเอ็นโอเล็กโทรอย่างเกาะบาร์ดิบอสิเดียสโซบริชและนี่คือเกาะบาร์และนี่คือเกดโอเล็กโทรดูนี่คือเรื่องการใช้สารบริสิบไปและนี่คือการมีการใช้อีกวิบลันสายกันแล้วพอเราใช้สารได้เราจะเอาเล็กโทรบริชเข้าไปอินคลูดในการใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้สารใช้ The dance given for the high schools are what we are talking. So this is the uh, this is electrolysis system. This is the hydro uh, hydrogen tablets are breathing. The dance given for the hydrogen breathing are breathing. On the kettle is uh, this is the this process the electrolysis. And the the longest cell life is a lithium the longest cell life. Over circuits are voting on the lithium uh, magnetic cell. Uh, mag lithium magnetic cell is a three y volt. Open the circuit transformer body. On the left axis, there is a two by one zero by four. So the capacity is at thirty six to seventy five watt hour per kilogram. The operation can be done minus forty to the plus sixty degrees centigrade. So this is the battery charging and the discharging the diagram. When the battery charge, so this is charge capacity and this is discharging system. You can follow like this. This is the charge battery charging and discharging system. So the battery capacity is measured by the ampere hour. So we have to calculate the continuous current that battery with the 300 ampere hour reading can deliver on 10 hour discharge. So this is the current is going to ampere hour divided by time. So 300 ampere hour divided by time 10 hour. So you got the 30 ampere. So this is the battery charge and discharge diagram. So this problem, we need to calculate four equilibrium and magnetic diesel, which is over the body, one by one. They are connected in parallel to the supply three ohm load. Ignoring the internal system, we need to calculate the over the body or the battery load current and current supplied by the diesel. So the these are connected are they are series connected. So all the same, E one, E two, E three can be added together, and all the system can be all. Can be added together. In an analysis, that can be added, but the current is the same current. Parallel connection, so all the voltage are the same, but the resistance one by R D is one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. So the current I one is I D is I one plus I two plus I three. So this is the way. So all the four battery cells are connected in parallel. So this is connected in parallel here. So the supply voltage is one by R two and connected to the three ohm supply. In an analysis, it is zero or the resistance. So the ID is going to be V by R, one by five, one by three. You got the five five and V. So that all the I one, I two, I three, I four, they are the same. They are the five five and V. So that they are four times the battery is a five five and V. So that each battery supply the five five divided by four. You got the five one to five and V. And all the resistance will be one by R D, one by five zero four plus one by R zero four plus one by five zero four plus one by five zero four. So one by R D four by five zero four. Therefore, the R D is going to be five zero one of we got. Then we uh, can calculate the E going to I plus capital R plus small R. So one by five is going to I multiply three by five zero one. Then you got the I is five four nine eight and we are. So each battery so divide by four you got the five one two four. This is the when the E battery got this uh, in I is the five zero one oh we can calculate the battery body by this way. So the arrangement of battery in the emergency system. So this is the central battery is up there, and the main inverter, and this is chain over switch connected to power line and connected to the load like this. So this is the when the main power one line is the sense by the same chain over switch, the chain over switch switch the power to the main main power system. The cell connected system is the all the battery system. They are individual units are 
included the resistance and the battery. Cited the two advantages and the two disadvantages of the central battery system over a shared connected system to provide electrical power to angles and lighting during the time of the main power failure. So the advantage is that once a central light battery provides for the reduced and maintenance time and by concentrating the battery source in the one space. In some installation, central system can be less expensive to install. This advantage is that all the cabling between the battery and the luminous must be in the fire plated. They must be the MIMS or the PVCS3 conjugate, reduced cable, etc. Failure of the battery means the total failure of the, the whole system. Battery charging die, this at least a precaution which must be authorized when the charging is still by battery. So that in this case, I will have to the, install a safety plug. Safety plug is a fitted to the cell, must be firmly tied in the base at all time during the charging. Electrolyzer level must be made that an electrolyte temperature should not be allowed to uh, reach the 45 degrees centigrade. When the boost or the cement uh, supplementary chain has been uh, completed, the, the battery must be returned to the flow condition to provide the damage in the cell. So this is for the connection or the standby port device or order data system. The order data is uh, driven by the diesel engine, petrol engine, and the gas turbine system. They can uh, utilize to drive the order data system. And then the next one is uh, another uh, emergency system into the ionization smoke detector system. This is the electric uh, power source, and uh, this is a positive and negative side, the positive electrode, and this is for the negative electrode. When the uh, main power is failure, so that that will be the uh, alpha so When the uh, smoke comes in, so this is the alpha particles are full between the chamber. Therefore, the, the electrical current conducted from the electric positive and negative charge, and then this will sound the alarm. So this is for the ionization chamber containing the immediate amount of the radioactive materials, so American, American, and normal condition. Air are connected in the ionization chamber is ionized, and a big gun is connected, allowing the simultaneous current to flow from the battery through the chamber. So through the detection circuit and the back to the battery, when the smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts the supply, the current flow, and it activates the alarm. Ionizing smoke detector is a more response to the flame in the fire. So this is for the uh, photoelectric smoke detector connection uh, system here. So this is a photo cell. The light source is a scent. So for the light source scent, the any smoke, the electric current flow. Then if uh, sound the alarm. The photoelectric smoke detector use a principal scatter or a reflected light to the indicate the presence of the visible smoke. In the absence of the smoke, the chamber is dark and a light chain across the chamber and there is a resist in the light then on the fair side. So when the smoke is present in the chamber, a photo cell lo located at the right angle to the light source, it sends the sends and the scatter and the smoke particle at the uh, starting level of the illumination to trigger the alarm. So the level the normally is that this is that this cycle there's a full illumination. So when the smoke coming here, the full illumination is scattered and the illumination level will be reduced. Uh, because of the reducing the illumination level, this photo cell light catch up with a uh, indicate as a signal and this signal will sound alarm. So this is what the photo cell is included. So the we also utilize the fixed uh, temperature detector. Fixed temperature detector is a measure of explicit than the detector. So it measures the temperature around it, and then this is the common type of the heat data system. So they include the operation based on the uh, temperature of the heat. So there can be there's a uh, we have to be used the appropriate uh, requirement system. So that can be the when we are installing the smoke detector system, we have to know about the scope. We have to know about the type of system. We have to design a proper smoke alarm system. We have to provide a smoke detection system. And we have to provide a smoke detection for the smoke control and the building occupant. Depending on the building occupant and the system monitoring, we have to uh, provide the appropriate thing. So the next one is the emergency lighting system. 
Evacuation system must be uh, installed in uh, all the buildings that are not a uh, single domestic resident. So the regulatory requirement is a building code of the Australia. It mentioned about this uh, regulatory requirement. It has a 2293 part 1 and 2. It's uh, mentioned about the regulatory requirement. So the emergency uh, evacuation lighting must be provided for the building. So the deep building system configuration include the central battery system and the cell container system. The central battery system is that we must utilize a fire rate that's given, MIMS given, and also dedicated battery load must be provided. Cell container system, we also utilize it. individual luminaires are equivalent with a cell container battery and charger. Each luminaire is a dependent, independent of the all other parts in the equation system. Uh, the advantage are that they are very flexible, simple monitoring of the individual area. The aggregates and luminaires are simply connected to low lighting circuit and no specialized wiring is required. And the multiple battery provide the assurance against the total failure of the system. But disadvantage are that they are high cost and multiple battery to check in the main day. So this is the higher replacement of the battery chart. Here is the evacuation and luminaire. So there are two kinds of the system, maintenance luminaire and non-maintenance luminaire. Maintenance luminaires are the power by the rechargeable battery, the compare and probation and the arm switch, and the main battery charging. non container luminaires are the luminaires off during the normal supply period, activate when supply fail, and the lens are the provide the efficient uh, energy efficient bar. We must have the energy efficient bar. So this is the uh, diagram symbol on the normal, and this is the emergency. So this is the uh, a substantial luminous are two separate lens are utilized. One for the normal supply, the other for the emergency supply. This is normal supply, this is emergency supply system. Requirement of the BCA building go Australia, there must be the aggregate lighting. They will see the white data on the green background. They will have to provide the potential AC. Within two meters of the uh, every chain or the direct chain, we must provide it and must be the position when they can see from the any point. So this is for the dial connection. Every uh, chain of the dial chain, we have to provide the emergency. Uh, it's just a uh, uh, symbol must be uh, located. So the appropriate illumination source are uh, evacuation light is the point two lights. When we use in the emergency system, emergency lighting will be the Nikes Academian and the NSC and the NIH uh, baby. That's in uh, we have to uh, provide the every six months uh, during the circuit, they must be tested and remove the power supply for the area and the running on the battery for the 90 minutes include important and a replacement unit which fail to operate the minimum time. So this is the testing unit. So the, in this case, uh, we also provide a specific location. Emergency SK luminous are required within 2 meters of the approach side of the east doorway and requiring the AC side. And we in two meter of the intersection of the center lines of the inter intersecting corridors. We in two meter of the intersection of the center line at each chain of the dry chain. And we in two meter of the any chain of flow level on the low side. So this is the any chain of dry chain, any intersection. We must provide the low luminaire. And also low side, high side. And we must provide. And from the door, we in two meter, we must provide the emergency cell. So they are the uh, we have to utilize the battery. Uh, uh, this is the specification. Quadruple uh, A. So, so the 8.3 millimeter and 42.5 millimeter A is a 10.5 millimeter to 42.5 millimeter. The dimension A is a 42.5 millimeter multiplied by 6, 56 millimeter. C is a 26.2 millimeter multiplied by 50 millimeter. Delta is a 34 by 2 millimeter, multiplied by 31 by 5, 9 by 41, 8 by 5 millimeter, multiplied by 26 by 5 millimeter. This is the dimension of the classification of the battery. So there will be the electrochemical cell CV, potassium, chem, calcium, sodium, magnesium. This is the electromagnetic cell. So that when the metal activity increase, there are, this is the, from here to here, the up Y is a metal activity increase, down Y is a metal activity decrease.
So this is a dry cell, a primary cell, a dry cell. So this is the zinc carbon and the carbon and zinc combination is electrolyte. So zinc is a negative, carbon is a positive. So they can be the two to three yard light voltage is a one by five to the one by seven by five volt. Operation uh, uh, temperature is a minus five to three by degree centigrade. Electrolyte is a ammonia and a chloride is utilized. Equilibrium are the zinc is an endo, magnet dioxide is a cathode. Electrolyte is a potassium and hydro, hydroxide. So they are recorded at three to five years of cell life. Each cord is a one by five by volt. And they can produce a one cc3 one of our kilogram and operating temperature minus 22 plus cc degree centigrade. And lithium are battery. The cathode is a magnet, and is a lithium. The electrolyte will be there a lithium bar outside. Chloride is a inappropriate carbonate. Cell is a five to uh, seven year body. It's a one by five operating temperature minus 25 degrees centigrade. Second, this cell can be recharged by the lead is a cell, actually, nickel family, lithium and sodium ion. Lithium is, are, is uh, low is a uh, the light is a uh, lithium cobalt or iron phosphate or magnet outside utilized. They uh, also utilize the carbon, the electrolyte is an uh, orange uh, carbonate or sable, they three by five volt and start getting five down there, two down there that we can utilize. So these are the connection of the lead as it said. NO is a sponge, lead, cathode is a lead bar outside, electrolyte is subject acid and water. So this is electrolyte are the combination of the sub H2SO and H2O. Charging time, the electric energy converted to chemical energy. Discharge time, chemical energy converted to the electric energy. Servo rate 2 by 105 volt and operating temperature is minus 40 to plus 60 degrees centigrade. Nickel cadmium battery is a uh, nickel cat. So nickel is a hydroxide. Uh, we use a cathode. Uh, metallic cadmium is endo. Potassium hydroxide is we use as an electrolyte. The one bar. One hour kilo is 40 to 60, and the servo rate is a 1 by 2 volt, and we utilize a 2 down and suck it. Nickel metal is a hydroxide, it's an NIH. Uh, so, and nickel hydroxide is utilized as an electrode, and hydrogen are the built on the electrode. So, the potassium hydroxide is uh, utilized as an electrolyte, servo rate 1 by 2 volt, and we can utilize a 500 to 1 down and suck it. So the next way is the remote area power supply, IBS. A remote area of power supply system is an autonomous electricity supply system that rely on the one or the more energy sources, usually like conjunction with the battery and the power conditioning equipment. So this is for the photovoltaic module. We utilize solar and the sun energy. So this is the solar cell. We charge the stabilizer and connect to inverter, connect to load. So the front is charger to connect to battery charger and then we get connected to battery. So this is the uh, configuration of the solar cell system. So here is a wind energy system. Winds are power supply system. Wind power supply is a turbine blade and this is the generator easy to see. We connect to condition and connect to low. Also the, we utilize a micro the hydro the generator system when the water flowing, water turbine are driving the generator or the, this is the or is in a dye, this is the body can die generator. So the diesel or the petrol generator are also utilized. So the selecting the stand second by automata is a uh, we have to utilize the power uh, point A is a power factor, point A is a common, and brushless machine and the automatic body regulators are required. Engine protection we need to provide. So in this case, the petrol driven engine machine should not be the driven at the less than the one that low for the long media. Starting stopping time all of must be the turn off. On the Austrian standard, we have to apply the ESD long chain section 713. Generation system must be uh, follow. Engine driven system include the generator set. We also include a standalone system, pre-connected inverter and a battery system. So this is section 713. In this case, uh, the, uh, A is a selection and the installation, B is a control, C is a isolation, D is a Overcurrents are protection, E adding, and the F connected electric equipment, G is a connection to the electric installation. This is for the uh, section 73 of the year 3000. It mentioned about the uh, DD installation of the emergency the order data system. So in this case, uh, the ESNS is 503, 503, 2005. 
rules are mentioned about the installation of uh, photobotics are BB array. ES are four, Kribel seven, 2005 addition is uh, mentioned about the grid connection of the electric energy system in Bata. And also the service and installation rule on use of weight. Section A mentioned about the uh, connection of the emergency system. In the meantime, so ASN is at 30105.1. Electric installation. This is a supply by generator set part two. Also, international conventions are in the driven side. Do are the rule and regulation. Rule and regulation that the installation of the emergency system must follow. In the meantime, we are talking about the generator supply operation. Now, when you are do the generator parallel operation, we have to do the side electric drawing, we have to uh, set the production setting, we provide the other system, we need to uh, determine the side of the generator, and then we have to propose an installation date. So, in other shares of connection, production uh, include the over and underbody production relay, automotive uh, synchronizing unit must be included, over current alpha production must be included, and supervised battery supply must be included. At the time of the environment condition, the vast power production and the loss of the excitation production in the island, day, they must be provided. In the meantime, negative frequency sequence must be sensed, and rotor spark must be sent, and depression system must be provided, and also time and overload system must be provided. This is the kind of agenda. So uh, here is the uh, solar cells uh, diagram. This is for the solar cells, this is the solar cells uh, connection diagram. This is a solar battery, uh, solar charger controller diagram. So this is the solar charger controller diagram. In the meantime, we also need to provide this uh, illumination control. Illumination control is utilized for the visual comfort of the person and the performer and working to complete the task. So that in this case, uh, the aluminum is the uh, appropriate illumination must be the provider for the system. So this is a, today's uh, we are talking about the emergency system, battery system, and standby power supply system. So next week uh, we continue the illumination control. That's for the electric engineer practice. So today's lesson is uh, illumination control. The so illumination control is very important for the visual comfort of the person performing or working to complete the task. So that when the person is doing something, so the illumination is very important. This is also important for the visual comfort. So therefore, the illumination control is uh, dependent on the task illuminates Task contrast and the glare control. So there are three sub things are influencing the illumination control. Regarding the task of illuminance, there must be a sufficient light so that required work can be carried out correctly and efficiently. So the low lighting level, when the lighting level is low, low lighting level can cause eye stains. So if the too high lighting, it can also happen the eye stay and the fatigue can happen. Therefore, the, we have to control the illumination not to be too low or not to be too high to maintain the visual comfort level. So this is very important for the illumination. So the regarding the illumination control, we need to uh, follow the AS1C80. So this is for the AS1C80 uh, standard is illumination control. So every classroom, they must have the 400 lux and also the for the any detail work in this case are uh, up to 3000 lux will be required so there so there are touch contrast the difference between the luminance or the color that makes the objects are uh, distinguishable so this is also important because of the the illumination should make the object to be uh, distinguishable so the glare also we need to be controlled. Glare is caused by the brightness of the background or the object in the person's field of vision, which are disrupt this the person from the visual touch. So this is why the because the glare are the person can be the disrupt. 
So in this case, uh, we have to follow the, there is a, a law, inverse of square law. The inverse square law means that in lysos or the one can there is a position at a distance d from its surface given the luminance of 1 by d square lux. So this is the inverse square law. If the surface move from the source, the luminance will be the 1 by 4 d square. If the surface is more than 2d from the source, the luminance is 1 by 4d square. Surface is more than 3d from the source, the luminance is 1 by 9d square. So this is the illumination control. So that we also have to uh, control the illumination control. They are the basic principle of the lighting. So this is the incandescent light. When the current passing through the conductor, make is the glow white and hot, it produces a light. So this is the halogen lens. In the midnight are low electrodes are luminous. The when the current passes through the through the conducting the gas pro, producing the ultraviolet radiation, which uh, bombard the uh, phosphorus of producing a visible light. So when the current passes through, it will produce a UV radiation. This UV radiation uh, bombard the phosphorus. So that by bombarding the phosphorus, it will produce a visible light. The another kind of the light is a gas discharge light. The same as the luminous uh, science, luminous science, uh, because of the acid, uh, they are the uh, no use made of the phosphorus to get the visible light. LED is a light emitting diode, so it is a semiconductor. Semiconductor PN junction under the forward uh, bias in the current, so emit a radiation by the uh, electroluminous uh, luminance. So this is the flash and light. So this is the uh, when the electric current flow. This is a door tube. This is the cathode. Here is a mercury at the charge and the light in the wire. When the electric current passing through, the force flash always uh, will use the light. So this is the kind of the flash and light. So the, the flash and light is uh, the filaments are made of the radiated uh, tan skin. The coated with the invisible some material. So this is the cathode. Cathode is a filament made of the radiated tungsten. skin, radiated tan skin coated with the emission material. The cathode produces an electron which flows through the tungsten gas, ionized gas. Cathode produces an electron which uh, flow through the ionized gas between the cathode and the tube. So the cathode are the located at the end of the gas and the fluorescent light is that they are two, are two kinds of fluorescent light. They are can they are can be the hot and the cold cathode. So they it takes the time for the function. So the the fluorescent lights are you know, usually produced at 40 to 85 lumen per watt, can be increased to the 100 lumen per watt, operate at the 25 kilohertz. The color depends on the coating phosphor. So the useful light is a 7,500 to 8,000 hour of the standard tube. So those are the uh, feature of the flowers and lens. So this is a high density uh, digital lens. So these are the uh, this is high density digital lens. So this is the main lens for IQ. Also the argon, mercury, nitrogen, free, plus and coating, and this is starting electrode. They are uh, utilizing this uh, mercury vapor, and then they also can be the metal halide and high pressure sodium and low pressure sodium. So this is a, so they emit this a uh, large volume of the ultraviolet radiation. So typical efficacy is a 75, uh, 65 to 75 lumen per watt. The similar principle for the metal halide and the high pressure sodium there. And a season length. So those are kind of this uh, high density uh, digital lens. So this diagram shows the light emitting diode. So this light emitting diode operation is a, uh, it can be the aluminum, gallium, iridium, phosphor, light. So they are producing a red, orange, and a yellow, and uh, iridium, uh, gallium. So they are uh, producing a gray, blue, and a white. So this is a lesser form for the uh, forward body given to so the LED forward current will be floating from this diagram. So this will be the uh, light emitted diode diagram, the forward and bias and this is the producing the light. To reduce the potential barrier, so by providing the forward 
the police are ready to use the juice to get the car flow. When the car flow, it goes to the light. So the to the juice of police are ready to flow the electron junction for the temperature impact on the LED or operation. So this is the junction temperature depending on the ambient temperature current through and also amount of the heat sink and also uh, materials around the LED. So this is a high pressure sodium uh, uh, light control circuit. So this is a bolus, this is a ignition, this is a other wire light. So this is a IGS a ignition, and it's a left, B the bolus, C is a capacitor. So this is a construction of the electrical circuit diagram of the high pressure sodium uh, control circuit. This is a surprise and less circuit. It's include a ghetto and no here. This is a bolus switch. So the brass and light starter. And this is also the electrodes are auto transformer. We can also provide the auto transformer to get the high discharge like high voltage. So this is a bolus also. So this is a quick start surprise and light circuit. So here is a two brass and lights are connected and two bolus and a camera star supply. So this is a leadless circuit. The project to eliminate the stable strongly effect. So here is a, a typical diagram of the electric foundation main control circuit. So for the MBR, uh, this is for the individuals are uh, socket all the fan, uh, they are connection, the diagram. So this is a uh, in this case uh, we also providing the MBs are three phase radius uh, we pro provide. So this is also the location of the three phase radius of flow diagram. And here is a uh, typical diagram for the electrical supply and also the socket outlet provided the load and this is the connection of the GPU. So this is what is a uh, plan of the flower cell light and the fan and the supply connection. Then we are talking about the electrical uh, This is for the uh, so today lesson, uh, we're talking about the lamps. Let's are the incandescent lamp. So this is for the when the electrical current flow. So in this case, uh, I square R. I is a current, I is a resistance. So I square R power loss, cause a heat and then the light coming out. Here we let is an extra low voltage lamp. This is a voltage less than the 500 PV volt. This lamp is a when the current flow. So it can have this uh, interaction with the gas and the light will be coming out. Usually a lot of the power losses in the light, in case the less are now are less than they utilize. Now we are using the discharge lamp. Discharge lamps are the most uh, uh, economical. Discharge lamps are also provide the lowest, most uh, illumination. So illumination level on the particular surface must be measured with the light meter. It must have the appropriate uh, recommended value. So this is for when we're talking about the introduction to the lighting system. So that to achieve the such recommended value, the appropriate number of the light and light power must be arranged. So the ELV lens are the tungsten with the uh, own side reflector. So that the light at the temperature of 3000 uh, Kelvin, so light will emit. Gas lens are also the digital light that are provided by the gas on the viewer digital tubes. So that in this case, uh, the, the, the cable side and the light level, we also need to get the table as well. So cable side is a small, rather cable in a short distance. Basic operation principle of the discharge lamp. When the voltage is applied to the uh, static electrode, the positive ion flow from the static electrode to the main electrode, those are interact with the gas molecule and the light is uh, emitted. So this is the how the light is produced. So this is for the uh, sliding circuits are diagram here. This is choke, this is camera star, this is Mercury Beaver light. So the electrical supply system for the Mercury Beaver light is a this diagram. Light is an electromagnetic wave. When the electromagnetic wave are the moving, so that in this case, the I square are radiate the energy waves are provided. So this is the wavelength and the energy level. We can draw the graph like this. So light, light of the lamp. So that the light of the lamp is depending on the current flow and duration of the usage and the number of switching time and the voltage level. So those are the light of the uh, load that is uh, depending on the low aspect. So the use of the digital lens are we use a digital lens in the auto radio, roadway lighting, power lighting and the security lighting. 
So in this case, our industry we also use as a high base and high luminance are utilized in the industry as well. So those are the tutorial questions. You answer the those tutorial questions. So this is the answer for the tutorial question. The next one. So this is a lighting control system. Lighting control system, uh, you see there's a manual control, automatic control, automatic control with this uh, meter switch, master switch. So this is the manual control circuit diagram. This is automatic, the automatic control with the master switch. Automatic control with the master control is on off connection. This is uh, when you are this, this one on, the so weekends are, uh, you weekends are uh, manually control. This one off, you can use as an automatic control. So timer switch are provided for the energy level reduction. So this is the timer switch. So this is timer switch provided for the energy efficiency and reduction. Tidal wave switch, they also the digital electronic tie switch is also included. So this is the timer switch connection. Here will be there's a tidal switch connection. Here like this, tidal switch. Tidal switch are connected to this switch. So this is the tidal switch. And all the reason on all switch is this is time race with this is the all reason on all switch on all switch. So this diagram. This is a manual switch. Light sensitive switch and a manual switch. Manual switch and a performance and a light sensitive switch. This is a cannot sense there is a real light situation on the outside. So light sensing switch to be utilized. So here with the power supply, this is for the tight tight switch is really low like this. So that this are uh, line three switch are uh, sense uh, outside light. When the outside uh, is a uh, light is a uh, low, it is a tight switch which is uh, operated lay and then low is a uh, connected. So that can be that uh, this is, is a function. Then you go to a cross B function. So in this case, the uh, adjustment is a uh, happy to that depending on the light level and sensitivity and the time. So light dimmer switch is here. So this is the light dimmer switch uh, is included variable resistor. Variables are radiant inductor and also solenoid. So the variables are secondary tapping on the transformer and also the magnetic amplifier. Amplifier. So this is the electronic light control system, electronic LT and UK. So this is the di S, this is gate, and this is tri S. So this one will be the will provide as a gate signal and then we will be provide as a control. So light control. And also that you have to do this uh, electronic light control is a composed of the tire tri S and the gate control circuit. By controlling the gate fire signal, the current flow from the T2 to T1 and it can be controlled. And after that you have to do that those are uh, exam exercises. To do exercise, you have to do it. So the wiring system, we are talking about the wiring system. Wiring system include a general wiring and the fire protection heating and adding system. Fire protection include as a testing of additives and a conjugate associated wiring theory elsewhere. So here is as a protection system, wiring system is a, this is a the, uh, outside uh, Power line, so power line from the here we connect the wire to the consumer survey wire and connect it to the base way. So this is the way wire is assessed and connected. So this wire is could include that is a canary wire. So we run the wire on the canary wire and we clip it, clip it. So this wiring system. So this wiring is provided either by the overhead system or the underground system. Underground system is a we use a steel tracking, cable, ladder, risers are utilized to bring the uh, electrical cable to the applicable cable are low. So this is the underground system. And base wave is also included. Base wave is that this is the base wave The base wave control the whole system. This is the base wave control the whole electrical installation to the building. So this is for the base wave system. Kosuma may come here, base wave and connected to the distribution wave. So the then wiring between the uh, uh, power line to the base wave is a consumer may. From the measurable to decision board is uh, we call it submain. So DVR the decision board, 
is a generally platform that some way to control and approve that the portion of the installation. So this is that we all have to do this uh, tutorial three. So this is an electrical wiring system at the wire, the single post switch and low corner the neutral. And this is for the two double post switch, double post switch connection, this is single post switch, double post switch. So this is a single post, double post, here will be the at the nuclear arc, this is switch and this is light. So this is a wiring, typical wiring circuit diagram. So we have to run the wire like this. And also the, there will be the connection here, this is connector and simplified circuit diagram. This one we can also connect it. Here is a more than the one switch. Is a circuit more than one switch? This is a switching diagram. So circuit diagram, this switch diagram, and this is a wiring diagram. Wiring diagram we connect it like this. If you use a, a connector, we can also connect it like this. Simplifying the circuit diagram. So the wiring associated equipment are we use a 240 10 switch, mounting block, conjunct junction block, and capital elbow T land folder and other three cookie were also utilized. So they are uh, where to do that as a question. And here we the uh, connection of the this is uh, elbow T joints and also here is a to run this one is a uh, screw and this is a uh, single post switch, two post switch, ten switch connection here is an uh, electrical wiring, rear electrical wiring diagram. Also, we have to run this out. Oh, yes, 3000 wiring rule. Yes, 3000 wiring rule is there are two things. Yes, 3000 as, and also yes, 3000 A4 that gave us selection. So, yes, 3000 wiring rule is a power one is a circle application and fundamental. So, we have to read this uh, cross 4 by 4, 4 by 6, 4 by 7, 4 by 19, and 4 by 25. Those things are that we can talk about the edit conductor appliance cable, also the circuit. And also you have to read that's how 1 by 4 by 46 electrical equipment, 1 by 4 by 51 enclosure, 1 by 4 by 58 installation coupler, 1 by 4 by 60 insulation system, 1 by 4 by 64 luminous, 1 by 4 by 71 plug, and then 1 by 4 by 72 points. So then you have to read. So here is a socket outlet connection diagram. This is a socket outlet connection diagram, wiring circuit, socket outlet, the electrical wire will connect like this. Also, that we also see that on main switch board, civil should be installed in the such suitable dry, well ventilated, where the asset is not obstructed. So this is a swivel uh, connection diagram. So the, where the swivel should be installed, and also the, we also have to do the do exercise at the connector angle here, insulation, plug, point, socket outlet as well. So we are talking about the fire protection and the residential uh, smoke alarm system. So to align the equipment of the building in the event of the fire breakout, so this is a smoke data that uh, detect the smoke and sound the alarm. So we also utilize the sprinkler system, smoke and the heat detection and automatic water spraying system. So in this case, a direct electrical supply with the smoke detector, which cannot be uh, is indirect, which cannot be indirect by the main switch. So survey wire here, main switch. This summary and this is a supply to the smoke detector. This is a smoke detector wiring arrangement. Here is a alarm system. When the smoke hit up, so there will be the electronic circuit control and then the alarm will be solved. So this is electronic circuit control light system. The location of the smoke detector is close to the bedroom, top of the stair, outside the bedroom. In this case, we are used to utilize a 
ionizations are some of the data sets. But the indication we show you the time is more data. We need to apply. Apply the location of smoke line in the airstream that may uh, carry the smoke particles. Limitation also why to install the smoke alarm in the kitchen and, and so that unless a damn smoke alarm is utilized. So in this case, uh, we should not use a smoke alarm in the barrow, garage, a very humid place, fireplace. And also that we should use a smoke alarm 3 meter from the barrow and 75 meter from the gas heater. So what is this like that smoke alarm is controlled by the any circuit, which are uh, energized at 24 hour battery supply. So we have to apply the install the smoke line at the test space. So this is a 300 millimeter from the, uh, the corner is a test space. We should apply the smoke line. So we should write the smoke line like this. This is for the electrical wiring diagram for the smoke line system. So in this case, uh, we also have to utilize the uh, appropriate cross of the AF3000. So the AF3000 uh, by section four, the so smoke line system, you can read the smoke line system. Here are three thousand rules. Then you have to do the door exercise. Then we also talking about the hazard area. Hazard area is an area in which the explosive atmosphere are present or the maybe explosive will be present. Special precaution needed for the construction installation and use the electric equipment. So the hazard area can be the class five. Class one is a flavor liquid gas vapor. Class two is a dust. So class one is a zone zero is a explosive gas is a present. That Continuously, zone one is really gas is likely to be some orca, and zone two is a is really gas is not so likely to be orca in normal operation. But if it's orca, it will exist for the uh, short duration of time, and this is for the hazardous area classification. So there will be the pure oxygen. The how the fire happen? How is a mixture of the oxygen, heat, and the fire substance? So we need to protect. Protect the fire by inclusion, explosion, energy limitation, dilution, violence of the ignition source. We have to utilize the equipment across and with the ASR 2380 uh, system. So this is uh, so this will be the hazard area here. Instances interestingly uh, say the equipment, the say area, then we have to use a fire enclosure. Fire protected enclosure have to utilize. So this is the electric system for the uh, fire blaze. So we need to uh, Protect the C and the fire probe enclosure is important. No open wiring, no sodium wave light, no battery charger, no switching device in the hazard area important. So that we all have to utilize the section seven. Seven seven is the commercial electric installation. We have to follow the section seven. In this case, uh, we have to know about the hazard area, appropriate reduction method, electric equipment method. ASC0079 is a special electric equipment. Mention for the hazard area. Then we have to do the tutorial hazard area. Here will be the explosion protection technique. This is the hazard of explosion protection switch. Here will be the uh, explosion, explosion protection switch. They are tied and they are simple. So our explosion protection switch, they are tied and they are simple. And here is hazard area the electric wiring, the motor system. There's a motor enclosure for the hazard area. Is a hazardous area to uh, equipment. Those are the, we're talking about the hazardous area. 